I used to tape, awesome, I always try to get a taped set. I could never get a good one to like submit to late night or whatever. And I finally get this great set on the road. It's Sunday night last night. I'm so excited. I go back and I go, Bobby, I finally, I'm on the road, Bobby, I finally got a tape. And he goes, oh no, you're going to be so mad at me. He took my camera in the middle of my set into the green room, took down his pants, and was just oh, filming his uh, on the camera. Uh, 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 yeah. oh, Are you yeah. fucking? Yeah, I don't think I've ever me. forgiven him, but I. What an like, asshole! Yeah. yeah, what a dick! Literally. <laughs> the other day. Hello, everyone. Hola, mis amigos. You're listening to Oh my God, Hi, hijo de Dios. Hola. With me, George Lopez, porque sabes que, let's do the show, porque está acá la tira, tú tengas algo, algo, that dry cleaner ahí, by Kim Phelps, se pegó la cabeza ahí, algo, algo, Neil Sporp, Spor and Paul. You know who George is? Oh, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. What's his name? George. George Lopez. George Lopez. Oh my God. OMG. OMG. Hi. Oh my God, hi. Look better? No. no. Turtlenecks make you skinnier. You look more done. Yeah. I look more done. Oh, yeah. She came from a I came from a commercial thing. Well, oh, you saw a commercial? Him. You look you look amazing. Thank look you. at this. <laughs> you always that. you always look amazing. So I guess I look, you look like, like a comedian. Oh, oh, is that how's that? Really that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's really rude, dude. Uh, I'm gonna kill myself. This is not Morgan Freeman. Well, at least in contemporary terms, it is not. That's creepy. Would you believe me? Oh my what god. I don't know why people are doing the AI. Damn. What the fuck is going on? So can your all your family members come back? Huh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> 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 we're all like, yes, and you're like, I know. Oh no. <laughs> no nobody will ever I got kind of tipsy after I drank one of these. They're oh. strong and good. Mm. There's my slogan. I like my I like my beer like I like good. my women. <laughs> Exactly. They're strong. Why would somebody drink beer without alcohol in it? Seriously. Yeah, to that's, look? No, it's because you have a mouth fixation, you know? Yeah. Oh. Or you like social anxiety. Cheers. Ching ching, everybody. Yeah. Salud. Come on. Salud. Come, where did all this social anxiety? What, uh, I mean, I listen, have social anxiety. <laughs> You're like, I'm, I'm George like Lopez. I'm 100 years old. <laughs> but how come, what was it called when we were growing up? Fuck, I don't know. Losers? Stuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like wallflowers, you know? Well, I picks. don't think you had as much social anxiety probably because you didn't have social media. I just love that you put your pinky in your ear, which I'm going to count. That's already six times that you've done it. Oh, you were shit. nervous. Wait, do you do it? You don't even know it you're doing itch, it. It was itchy. <laughs> I'm so, I'm, Wait, you get itchy My ears? accent comes back. <laughs> do you guys, what do you guys do? Like, I put gum under all the tables and chairs where we're Really? No way, no way. I can't do it. What do you guys do? You put your finger in your ear. Finger in my ear, and I scratch my scalp a lot. I do like this with Ooh. my hair. I fix my hair like this. Is that and medical I have bangs. Or is that... I fix my bangs, oh. too. But is um, that is that no the scalp thing? It's nervous, nervous tick tick. Yeah, I just like touch my face a lot. That's also why I keep my nails really short because when I have long nails, I like either scratch at my eye and or my ear such or a my lesbian. nose. <laughs> is that related to another anxiety? What? No, I mean Being everything is. <laughs> I think it is right. I, I think if some people don't even know they're doing it until somebody says, "Yo, man, stop touching yourself." I'm, oh, I'm not touching myself. Oh, my mom yells at me about it all the time. Well, I don't me know if you ever did this, but yeah. my dad would cut my nails for me when oh. I was a kid, to the point where they bled. Oh, Hi. like he would get mad at me when they were long. Is that the equivalent of buying clothes bigger so you grow into them? Yeah, that exactly. that, that they take your nails all the way down to the, so to the little so sun there, yeah. the little sun part, and then it's all bleeding, and then it hurts and for two pain. months, and yeah. then finally you're like. I used to bite exactly. my neck really aggressively. And then oh. my mom said, if you stop biting your nails, your boobs will grow. And then I stopped biting my nails and nothing happened. <laughs> Look how long they are. <laughs> my mom should have said that. Yeah, she might. I just got a boob job, so. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you really, did you really have? <laughs> yeah. Are those fake tatas? Yeah. No way. A lot of people don't you know. Held, when you held them, I could tell because could they tell. felt heavy. Oh. Yeah, they no, felt. No, they're light. They're like 34 Bs. You know, just How do you like decide what size? Like a, like a rental car? Like what do you need it for? Just a handful. Like what trip you go on? How compact? You're know, like you know I might you know I, I don't really. How go many big skins can I fit inside yeah. these yeah. boots? <laughs> I just you know, wanted to look good in a bathing suit. You know I wanted enough to like fill a bathing suit. But and then what about the pasty white skin though? <laughs> like the new skin where like it's no there your whole skin. You're, he's oh, wait. like your really boobs are awesome and then you, right? and then you have a bikini out and everybody's like I oh but you can fake that. Oh you can spray tan it right? Yeah. I don't okay. like spray tans. 
And you know, you can tell when people have like orange hands on the yeah. inside and then they're like getting the furniture dirty. I like and I've like, actually lost color since I like moved to LA because I like, <laughs> look at the Gil. sun makes me like depressed weirdly. Oh my God. What? Like it's sunny every day and I'm like, I need some rain. Because I grew up on the East Coast. Is You're this opposite. Dr. Phil show? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm, I love, wait, I love the sun. <laughs> yeah, There's I, a that's thousand crazy. things that could go I wrong with somebody in a day. Yeah. Isn't the sun supposed to be, what about, what about? Um, well, because I'm like, oh, why am I depressed? Well, it's not the seasons, so but, it must be me. You know what I mean? You but, just need a little bit of change. I think the sun is depressing because like, I should be doing stuff, but I don't want to. I want to go into, by the way, this is the number one dictionary phrase of the year. Do you know how every year they pick one? Yeah. It's uh, going, go I'm full goblin mode. Huh. Full it's goblin. Is full goblin hiding out? Yeah, it's like just being and not caring and saying no to going out and being like in your sweats, full goblin mode. I would have thought full <laughs> goblin would have been something I miss else. This place. Who started doing that, which is so cool? Hey. Who's the know. first guy who did this? Who did this? I don't know. <laughs> Frank Sinatra? I used to. No, guys like, yeah. Like I, Rat Pack, very. <laughs> I had a guy that I used to work with in Las Vegas, and he was a juggler, and he, he was just the worst uh, prop guy. <laughs> yeah, he guy. sounds like shit. And he would do so much better than me. And at the curtain call, he would look at me, he'd go, Stop. And I would be like, I'm going to fucking kill this guy. <laughs> Did he have one of those mics, the musician so mics, that's yeah, like that hangs, hangs here? Hey, so hang annoying. A second. And he, I mean, he did so much, it was like racial, that could be racially very insensitive. passive aggressive, this. I did racially insensitive shit too, but mine were words, not a toilet seat. He goes, Hey, man, what's happening? Like that. The, he did that? That's not that. Yeah. Let's that's go that burn bad? his house. That's is that he still alive? What, am I missing it? Who is this man? <laughs> that's okay. <so> bad. <laughs> and then when I started to do Arsenio, I went back there to go to Vegas, and then I went to go see those guys. And uh, 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 when uh, when I saw him, I went. He goes, "Hey, man, I saw you on TV," and I went. You know, you can just say <laughs> you can just say it was Carrot Top. Just say it. Was, it. it was, uh, they, they, I don't even know if this guy David Iannacci. I'm really I, into like egging people's houses these days. So what? if you want, I could egg his house for you. What do you mean? You, you, Why what would you do mean? this? I'm just <laughs> kind of. <laughs> what? It ruins like the pain. when people are bad to you. You know what I mean? You know what would be really insulting? Like if you see a family and they're like just you know, fucking nerds and shit, and you you threw egg whites at their house. Yeah. Like no yolks. Just the white. <laughs> Just the whites. That should be that's a funny like comedy special name. No yolks. No <laughs> yolks. <laughs> No, but you know that really it's it really fucks up the paint of your car if you like it, do it. So yeah, but you just throw it out the window. Egg oh. does. I could oh, wait, never you do are it. A I'm cop. too nice. Yeah. Can I get you know, I, I came home. I came home one night and the house on a corner. You come home every night. Fuck you, man. <laughs> this is, one night I came home and the little league team was toilet paper in the coach's house. And I saw it as I turned around the corner. And I saw the assistant coach that had brought the kids over in her car to do the toilet papering was parked right in front of my house. So I went inside, got a bunch of toilet paper, and I papered the shit out of her card, and I left her a note. Rule number one, never leave the getaway vehicle unattended. <laughs> yeah. well, there you go. Right? Literally in front and of I the cops' And I went back house. inside the house and waited for them to come out, waiting for them to come back to the car and, like and got a big laugh. Yeah. We, we TP'd our baseball coach's house, but you know how much we disliked them? It had caca on the toilet paper. <gasps> <gasps> That's funny. I mean, it's like the same thing, I mean, we're right? like I throwing, why throw a toilet paper that's, that's not been used? I could never uh, do it. To front, uh, back to front. We got to do something with our anger we're left and, no and then like darts like 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 <laughs> yeah. like almost like velcro darts <laughs> uh, stick to the house that's uh, so that's bad so no funny. i'm i'm a people pleaser i would <laughs> okay. never do that I, I, if I they couldn't. landed right yeah, yeah like, oh, like yeah. my god like when you throw darts with, with without needles and they don't land right they just it's fall like, that's, fall, a, that's yeah. a toilet paper wow and then they have to clean that up have you ladies have so you don't how's your podcast so. going i i see how's your podcast going Oh, so I have bad. a podcast <laughs> with Amanda, my co-host. Yeah. Um, and well, what was her name? Amanda Montel. Amanda Montel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. She is good. The, the host of that show recommended a mushroom therapist for me, and I was so excited. You take mushrooms, and he like guides you through it. Oh yeah. And I was so excited. Mm -hmm. And then I talked to the guy t two hours, and then I go, so how much is it? And he goes, it's five thousand dollars a session, and you have to do a minimum of three sessions. I was like, That's what? What? So then I was like, I'm going to marinate wait, on it. Just take shrooms and go to therapy. Literally, though. Literally. It costs $14. But, and what, but what, what's that therapy, though? What, what is that? It's about, like, releasing sometimes as, like, people, we kind of hold on to things in our body. And sometimes mushrooms helps you really, like, hallucinogenics I, I, help you release. That's what they had you convinced of. Yeah. Uh-huh. The mushroom people. They're, they're on. 
They're on to us. But all all that thing is like where they go and do what's that called uh, with the R word where you go into like a tent and sweat it out? Oh no, uh, that's a uh, I. Uh, Oh my God, what's it Rush called? Ayahuasca. 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 Which, yeah, you just projectile vomit, but it's good. Oh. <laughs> it's fun. But, and then microdosing too, right? People, yeah, microdosing, people are microdosing, not microdosing all the time now. It, I feel like shrooms are like the new weed. I love shrooms. Okay. I've never done. <laughs> you know, when you did the Laugh Factory, you were really funny. Oh, thank you. You, you have quite a unique uh, delivery style. Thanks. Thanks for having me on that show. What's that a unique? So what's, a, fun. what's the uniqueness? Like she stands really straight and she has her hand like this, you know? Oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like confident. And, and, hey yeah, guys, I mean, you what's know, up? your pants are up here. You know, your jeans are. Up here. That's the style, George. Look is at it? mine. Yeah, I yeah. love when my vagina looks long. Yeah, they're like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't look yeah. long. Is no, that, it looks long. Is that like, an ooh, I can run it. That women want to make your vagina look like that. I've never thought it of it. It starts that at the belly button. Uh, and it goes that's all what the I like. Down. I think it just makes. Uh, I think uh, it covers your gut. You know, like yeah, you have like your belly or something. You can't see it. You know what a fupa is, Gil? No. What? It's it's a fat upper pussy. <laughs> you never heard of that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, What's the A though? Uh, upper pussy. <laughs> 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 quick, she's quick. She's quick. Uh, I'm with guys. I love uh, it. Yeah. Sexes, yeah. What? What? All right, just mm. let me do, let oh. me have my well, moment. Uh, How dare uh, you? Uh, yeah. Thank Aaron. you, Aaron. That's that, what do you say? Reader's Digest version. That's what the old, <laughs> say, what old people would say that. Let me give you the Reader's Digest uh, part of it, which was like condensed. Oh my gosh! Yeah. We should do a thing where we, we read a bunch. Of, we read a bunch of uh, like what are the what are those called when they're like gidias? What are they called? Like words that kids say. Uh, oh, slang, slang, slang. Okay, we that's slang. And, and we would old. say if Gil yeah. if Gil knows what they are. I'm, yeah, and me, we should I don't see what, and we should see if Gil Alex, knows. I wouldn't know. Gil don't know shit. Oh, we can okay, do like how about a quick power. Yeah, how about this? When somebody goes like, yeah, it's midi. Midi, they say yeah. mid now. Okay, okay, sorry, okay. mid. <laughs> Do you know what mid means? Like me, y- 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 is that right there by the fupa? <laughs> <laughs> no, it means like your average. It's like, like, like I, oh, like, do you like that guy? No, he's mid. And it's like, uh, no, man. he's like an average loser. He's B minus, C plus. <laughs> which can you is turn a loser? I could, can work, you, I could work up to being a mid. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're can, better than me. Can yeah, a loser you're, you're guy, can a guy, can that guy, can that guy become something one day? I'm going to say all oh, the ones mid? that I've seen growing up. They fucking still are losers. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it depends yeah. on the person, really, you know? <laughs> no, I say once a mid, fucking... always a mid. You stay mid for a while. Think... That's the insult of mid. It's like yeah. if you're calling someone mid, you're like, you're never going to be more than mid. Yeah, it's like chewy. Like, I wouldn't actually call someone who has potential mid. You mm-hmm, know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What, what, what's, what's the word for that? Potench. <laughs> we can coin potent. it right now. <laughs> what about, what about, do you know what chewy means? No. Chewy? Have you heard basic? Yeah. Okay, so when someone's basic, it's like when it's like a basic girl who's yeah, like, yeah, just and ordinary. Like, yeah. yeah, but chuggy is like a specific type of ordinary. It's like those, you know, those signs that are in people's houses that are like live, laugh, love. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's chuggy. It's like white women who are like basic, but between but the ages the of like thirty-five for? and forty-five. Chuggy. Chuggy. I don't know where it came from. I don't know, but I love it. I love calling chuggy. people chuggy. Who would be chuggy? Like, let's let's. Who's a who's like a, thinking about a chuggy celebrity? Reese Witherspoon, she's like a chuggy celeb, you know, because she's yeah. like that. Like Drew Barrymore, no, no, oh. no she's, she's cool. Younger. She's, she's like cool. Oh, 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 I guess yeah, I guess she's too old to be chuggy because it's like a younger version of Reese Witherspoon. Chuggy is oh. like cheesy. Oh wow! But in yeah. a good way, kind of. Is all those words in stand-up Reese, I'm too? sorry. Like, <laughs> are they in stand-up? Stand up. Like if you went to an audience and they would know what that yeah. means. Oh wow, it's like that. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I feel like people it goes through people like and they're like, "What? Well, what are you saying?" But yeah, I would I would See? say like, sorry, I, like if I went on stage and was like doing crowd work or something, and I was like, "Oh, she's chuggy," everyone would know. Oh wow, that she's chuggy. Yeah. I'd never yeah. go with my Mexican friends. I'd say, "Qué dijo la cabrona?" <laughs> cabrona. <laughs> chuggy. Chuggy. <laughs> Hold like on, let me sounds... think of the word in Spanish. It would probably be like... I don't, I don't know what know. it is in Portuguese. I they don't know say medio in uh, in Texas and Mexico. Medio is like medio. Mid. mid. Yeah, mid. they would say... The mid. They would say... Because I would always say that uh, some people are full on and Latinos are medio. And they go, man, dude, I was full on last That's night. Funny. And yeah. then Mexico would say, ta medio borracho, like he's half. Yeah, exactly. Or half of everyone medio. else. Yeah. 
I yeah. love it. Linguistics I'm is so dad. interesting. I'm her dad. I'm the medio borracho. But I, I think I think that when you're older like us, like there's no going back. Like it's too far to go back to be there's only to a understand few words. the words. No, there's only like a few. That's the It's the also issue. like as like younger like I'm like 27 which is like ugh she's so old young I guess <laughs> but like there's like 23 year olds who are like popping off quicker and faster than me and like even they have like language that I don't understand Ooh. and as that is happening now to me I'm like I don't fucking care like every generation has like their own thing and it's like it's just cool to like come up and like make older people feel old but it's like everyone fucking gets old who fucking cares that. I love that their idea is to make old people feel old. Yeah, because yeah. they don't have any they like it. money or power, so they're like, all I have is my youth. There's a lot of that nowadays. <laughs> this generation lot. of like, just like, ugh, he's old. Or like, there's a lot of like, I remember when I was young, I loved like older people. I respected them yes. and looked up to them. It's a well, different what if feeling this now. podcast turns into like, people don't people respect, don't respect the, the elders. elders. No, elders. they don't. I don't think they, they don't. do. Especially in comedy. Yeah. You know, these young hoes, dude, I'm like, come do my show. They don't even sit through my set. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. It's no, a different it's hierarchy true. now. It's People literally will like pop off on TikTok and then like immediately expect to like get booked on shows because you know there's shows in LA that have been going on for ten years that like people want to get on. It's like an yeah. honor to get on a good show. Oh, and people will have like a. Million... What are those shows? Well, you know, I was thinking maybe like bathtub comedy at Virgil is like a good one. Oh yeah, um, Chris and Sh- hot, hot tub. tub. Sorry, yeah, I was hot gonna tub. say bathtub. Yeah, hot tub's been going on for a long time. That's an excellent show. Hot tub. Or, yeah, I mean for me, that, that's one more was of an like room. Mike Falzone's like surrounded. He's been doing this like crowd work only. Oh, I show. just saw. I just wrote, wrote like wrote to him. I was like, I'm gonna do this. Crowd yeah. work only. Yeah. yeah, ten minutes of just. And everybody work. sits on the stage and makes fun of you too. It's yeah, cool. like you have to sit. Like they, it's in the improv in like the lab, and they turn all the chairs to be circled around the middle, and then you're surrounded by the audience, and you just have to do crowd work. But it's like a really fun. But it's an also like there's a lot of that's the thing. He's like a club guy, so he did like you know what I mean. But it's at the improv. Yeah, but that's an alt show at the improv. I feel like that is not. I think it is. is not alt. No. Yeah, no, you're right. He's who, not. Who, who started that? Like, how, how does somebody? Mike Falzone, he's a really funny comedian. But how does somebody start that? Like a show, a show idea. Yeah, no, like that, like like the idea of you know we we go we don't want to be heckled and then yeah. you know you have a show where you do ten minutes of just talking to the crowd. I mean, yeah. you know what? Is it going to get to the point where there's no jokes to be made anymore that are like original? Yeah, I think, you know I what I mean. Have we gotten to that already? Yeah, we're getting there. I think. I think we are yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. where, where if you go up there and you're just doing an act and people see it's an act, they they're just they fucking don't care. They want to know you. They want to like, know you. Being... I know. Lately, I've been starting all my sets with like at least two minutes of crowd work because mm-hmm. if not, like people clock out. Yeah. Yeah. And you want to make them. They want to feel like they're special. So like you got to like point out a couple people in the audience and then ease into your material. That's not me. I, I like to treat them like shit. You do? <laughs> yeah. But you yeah, always yeah, do yeah, crowd that's work. My thing. Yeah. I, my standup is mostly crowd work that, the, when I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Same. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like jokes just feel good. And, and there's nothing prepared, right? No. Nothing. No, I have go-tos. Like oh. I have little go-tos. Like if I see a group of bros, I'm always like, you guys are going to kill a stripper tonight, huh? You guys are going to kill a stripper. <laughs> and then whatever <laughs> happens. <laughs> I just saw the most brilliant show called Nate. Have you guys heard about this? No. It's this woman who does, she dresses look, like look a guy. We're like fucking. He looks like, he, she look, dresses like a guy. So she's topless the whole either. time with her tits out. It's on Netflix. She made a special of it. And basically the whole thing is a one man show. One man, she's a woman. And she plays all the characters and she like interacts with the audience and the audience becomes characters on the show. She's Whoa. like, Luke, Luke, where are you? And like, everyone's quiet. Like, and then finally someone's like, yeah. And she's like, Luke, come here. And then she does like improv with these people. It's Whoa. brilliant. And huh. she, it's like very sexual too. Wow. So it's really good. Natalie. Nate. It's called Nate. I'll show you guys That's a picture. That's some fucking crazy shit there too. Like what? Yeah, the fuck? and her yeah. titties are out the whole time. I just was so jealous because I've been wanting to be ma- naked on stage. I do feel like it's just see, it look. is. Her titties are out the whole look the whole time. She dresses like a dude. Wait, is see? she British? No. Oh. It's br- it was one of the most brilliant things I've ever seen. See, she just and then she there's a shower scene where she's like totally naked showering. It well, was, I feel like that's like alt comedy though. It and was like, so good. I'm yeah. so jealous of it because like. One sheep, both of the shows are sold out. It's like, what's that like? And um, <laughs> and then also just the freedom of like getting Whoa. to play a character and like, it's. I feel crazy. like there's this crossover now between stand up and theater that you're seeing a lot in like the alt comedy scene, and it's like people who like don't want to do jokes and they want to like 
do this like alt character thing on stage and I'm like for sure that's cool but like sometimes if I go to an alt show and I just want to do like my jokes the audience is like not there for it and I'm like dude I've been working on these jokes for years they're not into it like and they do well at a club but then that's why I don't know I was just in New York for a month and like the New York comedy I feel like New York comedy seems so much better though oh it's so hard there I feel like I think it's hard I think it's always been hard but how (laughs) how how does somebody come up with that I think she started it as like a small one woman show kind of a thing where she was playing with ideas and then she came up with this character that was like super funny and like getting a lot of I laugh, think it, that's so super fun and like freeing. Oh, you should watch it. But, I, it has anybody, my mind. Has, has, but I fucking hate else? it. No, I'm just yeah. no, I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm jealous of it. Uh, I'm jealous of it. Did anybody? Has anybody else done it? I mean, it's her idea, right? Is she the only one doing it? No, I've oh. seen so many. similar. There's another girl, Courtney Peruso, who does this like incredible show where she's like a, it's like a clown kind of show, That's, but yeah, it's clowning. So many yeah. people do it. There's this guy named Zach Zucker who runs this show called Stamp Town, and it's like a three hour show, and it's a mix of like stand up comedians, clowns, and sketch. I like this. I want to be a part of this. Yeah. And yeah, I started with clowning. Oh, you should. Yeah. I mean, Zach is like the. I don't want to oh. say this on the record because his ego would like blow up, <laughs> but he is like clown. He's like doing the clowning. I love it. What's clowning? It's just physicality and like it's like making people laugh without like without phys- like with just being physical. No jokes, no words. Just it's like going. And- so an example of it is like <laughs> I went to the show the other day and this girl was dressed as like this poor like. 1950s like woman and she had like fake blood all over her and she was carrying a fake baby and so she was funny going so up far to the audience <laughs> being like do you have a penny to spare <laughs> and like oh, from there she just like took it to like this extreme and like interacted with the audience where like she got like half again also half yeah. naked on the stage Whoa. and was like i just want to be naked on stage how do i do that in comedy Strip, girl I, how is that i, I don't want to be know. naked I'm, I do. I, I'm sorry you know before coming on the show, you know, I'd pay to go see Also, we can comedians. slow down. I feel like we're talking, like, very fast. No, no, I, I'd pay to this go see comedians, that. and still today, there's <laughs> nothing that I love more than watching comedy, but that is more like, you have Theater, to wait. Yeah, performance and, and art. I'm, no, I want to see comedians. I want to go see George make me laugh. Yeah. And, and I can well, remember- Don't throw me in there. I, I can remember- <laughs> The first comedian I ever paid to go see was Dom Herrera, who was yeah. I was on Dom. here, yeah. and I've seen paid several. That when I go to a comedy show, when I go to the Laugh Factory, I want to see people that are going to make me laugh. I don't want to wait in suspense for when's the next laugh yeah. joke coming yeah, in. I guess there's a, a, a. I don't know. It's changed so much since the last changed. time you guys were in here. Shit, I didn't know yeah. any of this. <laughs> oh, she did this what thing the on the show, Nate, where she would go to different audience members and go may I and then she would just grab their tits and then she came up to a guy and she was like may I and then she like grabbed his dick it was so funny just yep, she had clever. the audience on the palm of her hand the wow. entire it was just so fascinating to see yeah how I she had think, that I think that's where like the line is drawn of like club comedy and like all like theater comedy I don't think one is right or one is wrong but I do think that like it's good to have those spaces like clubs where like you can go in and just like do jokes because like yeah. even for me I've started to perform to like podcast audiences and I like love the oh. fans of my podcast but they're not people who normally go to clubs right so they are there you know, for fucking me nerds. Yeah. I'm just kidding are they nerds Please listen to my podcast too once they, I have one <laughs> <laughs> they are they are nerdy but in like a cool way and I love them but like I was talking about it with a friend and he was like you want to practice your jokes in front of a comedy audience because you'll know what actually works and what doesn't they're not just like laughing right that's true yep it's true like you want to workshop your shit at a club where people workshop it in new york and then you come here and it's so much easier people are fans of people are fans of comedy people who go to clubs are fans of comedy and they know like you were saying they're there for like like a premise tag punchline, and like that's the art of like Stand up comedy. But then but then, you know, that even makes like U C B or the grounding seem dated, like like that it stuck. Yeah. In a sense because they've been doing the same thing, which was different than stand up and the things that we do. And that was the two things that are different. But Nate and all the stuff you guys have been talking about is way outside it's risky. of those two you things. You know, it's risky because it could really offend people. I mean, she did some crazy shit. Like, and it's the Elysian Theater is like a place that's been really open. Yeah. Like, and they're ki- trying to help people grow who want to do risky shit that's not like that hasn't been done you know like yeah i was gonna try and do a show there but they're like we're not taking any more stand-up shows 
they're only doing like alt comedy. I, I kind of want to do a weird show. I, I, I drove by there show. once. So I didn't know that was there. And I drove yeah. by there and yeah. I thought, wow, what a, what a nice, you've been it's inside? It's a nice theater. Super, yeah, it's a nice yeah, theater. Inside. That's where the lady was, oh. the, baby the fake baby. Girl. <laughs> wow. I like I like how comedy is growing because I felt really like suppressed in oh, doing I lo- like male co- style comedy. I grew right. I, I started at the I, comedy store, you know, and now I'm like finally I do music stuff. Like I I'm think just it's starting. so important to like have all those avenues, and I don't think one threatens another. You know, they can all coexist. You know, there's but you're gonna kind of have to have to be more. going in that direction anyways because it's not something that you're gonna sit around and become somebody who wants to go on stage with your top off or yeah. somebody that's gonna do completely all improv. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but just like think about it. There's not been a stand-up that's been naked yet. Yeah, there no. has in the United mm-hmm. Kingdom. I in went to US, Fringe Fest. Right? Oh, Fringe Fest is a whole uh, other Which beast. is like Edinburgh Fringe Fest. It's a comedy festival in the UK. Um, and it's a month long. You perform every single night. And they have a lot of alt comedy. And you have to every rent your own space. Night. And you have to For bark. For 28 nights. And you have to bark. And you have to like sell tickets. And you have to rent the space. It's a lot of work. It's but so it's much beautiful. work. It's yeah. exhausting. It took like an emotional toll on me. And no sun. Cause it ran and no sun. Yeah. That's right. And then it you're like, I out. love this. No, I was so sad when I was there. Too much. It was too, too much. Too much no sun. That's a lot to, that's a 24 hour fucking sh- for like yeah, a month. But, and I also since it. everyone you know who's at the festival is performing at different hours of the day, you can only hang out with your friends between the hours of like midnight and 4 a.m. So you're up until 4 a.m. every night and then you get up the next day, then you're prepping for your show and then you're Barking. I can barely get through a weekend. Wow. I can barely get through five shows. Straight. You did I'm it too? so tired. No, I've never done that festival, but oh, I do but almost every is, weekend. And yeah. I buy like I have one weekend left this this year, and I'm exhausted by it already. I haven't yeah. even started it. I'm like, oh, five hours worth of being on stage. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's insane. Yeah. Okay, I, would you ever try stand up? He wants to. <gasps> I I might try one these days. A little stand up. I feel like once you do it and you live. You know what I mean? Like you realize that it won't kill you. You're oh, I'm not afraid of it killing of me. I, I just would like to. I crowds don't don't bother you me. You know what I think just you should speaking do? in public doesn't bother I me. I think you should put a turtleneck on and then stick your pe- the head of your pito on <laughs> yeah, it. Be yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. the <laughs> uh, two, uh, two turtleneck. You're on something. Brother. You're on something. I do feel like the turtleneck the look would be good for you, <laughs> or like a suit. You know, like you have the voice of a suit. No, guy. I think you should do, just do a turtleneck <laughs> that matches the pants, one color. <laughs> Tight all so they knitted, can see your one nipples. just long knit. Yeah. Oh yeah, just all knitted. Just Barbara Streisand. If you do more. stick anything out, you can put like a hat on it. <laughs> yeah, a little with a little like a rubber band under. I just, wanna <laughs> yeah. see, I just like seeing something different. I mean, I was on the road with Bobby Lee for years, and it was so like I loved watch. He had all the same jokes, but he would do this d- different physical thing that involved an audience member every time. So it was different because it was. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen, right? When you involve the audience and. I don't know, something exciting about it. It's exciting to me because you don't know what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm at this place where like I am starting to like love crowd work a lot more, but because a lot of the podcast fans come out to the show yep. and I feel this like really grateful relationship to them, like they're the reason I've been able to like go independent as a comedian. I don't want to like attack them. I, like go independent. I left my fan. I left my fucking <laughs> comedy fan. <laughs> but, but I don't want to attack them, but the whole point of crowd work is like to attack the audience. <laughs> and what do they? And what do they expect to see you do your jokes and all that stuff? Or yeah, I don't know. That's the thing. Well, you, don't, you shouldn't think about their expectations. I know. I think I just like think too much about like I'm so thoughtful about other people's feelings. <laughs> Me too. I'm a people pleaser. I came out of my mom's butthole instead of her vagina. Oh, just because I knew oh, it. Ah, that's, ah, ah, so that's hilarious. Ah, thank you. That's hilarious. Um, that I think that you got to stop doing that. I, think I know. You I stop have to. And when I do they, attack them. The times I do, like they take it. They no, but it. I don't think it's attack. I don't think it's. I, I don't think that's the right word because then it's yeah. like. I think people s- can feel attacked, but I think it's about like in making them part of the show. And yeah. I think that's what feels like an attack, like right? Because comedy is like taking the huge and making it a little off. Yeah, yeah. And that's what makes people laugh because laughing is not necessarily happiness. By the yeah. way, it's like a discomfort. No, I think sometimes. it's an it's an organic react. It's an impulsive like reaction. That's what I love about comedy is like, if I laugh. Like you say something funny, there I couldn't control it. You like just I laugh. just laugh. Yeah, you don't think of it. Yeah. But also, you know, Gary Shanley would say that if they moaned or if they were like turned on you or if they laughed, an applause break, it was a reaction, and silence was the shit that you didn't want. But if you could make the whole room go, oh no, visceral. And, I mean, that's that's. Yeah, visceral. that's what I get whenever uh. I do my um, Colombian cocaine joke thing. It's like, like whenever I meet someone and. 
I, I tell them I'm from Colombia. They're like, oh, cocaine, like Pablo Escobar, you know that guy? And I'm like, I don't do that to like white guys, you know? I don't go up to a white guy from Colorado and say, oh, Columbine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? like, I do. Sometimes, I do. The, I do. <laughs> sometimes the audience is like, ha, ha, ha. And sometimes they're like, ooh. And I'm yeah. like, that one was but a But what a great time. present. You get an yeah. ooh, and then you, you get, get to play off of that. Yeah. Yeah. Have, have, you ever, have you ever like pulled a punch, like not, not done it, because you thought, oh, no, these motherfuckers are going to. Yeah, sometimes I skip that part, and I just go to my other one, which is like I don't go up to white families and say Fox News. You know, <laughs> I like that. That's you know? good. Yeah, yeah, fuck them. Don't think about them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And yeah. what does the road lead you think like in the what 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 do you, what do you guys aspire to be like um, in your sitcom? Question. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's 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 what, what we want. What what about a sitcom? I would let yeah. you know we talked about this. My dream is to develop a sitcom. That's what I've been trying to do for 15 I years. Think, I think you know Brazilian it, in Virginia? What? It's never Dude, wait, done. actually, I've been, you know I grew yeah. up in Virginia too, right? No. I moved to America, Virginia when I was seven. Stop. What part? Nova. You know what? Charlottesville. I yeah, think I also went to UVA. Fairfax is cool. Stop. Yeah. Wait a minute. That's the name of the show. Stop. The name of the show is America, Virginia. I, I, I was going to yeah. call it Virginia's for Lovers. Oh, that's good too. Because, but you said, I, I, I lived in America, Virginia. That's what you <laughs> yeah. said. Virginia, <laughs> America, America, Virginia. America, Virginia. America. So you guys didn't know that you guys were... Well, I don't know if you knew, but I knew because of your I didn't know. Yeah. I also have a joke that's like, yeah, I moved... People don't believe me that I'm Latina. I moved to America when I was seven. ESL, English as a second language. And then I'm like, apparently I nailed it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. People don't... Know. People are like, no, you're not. Yeah. I'm like, okay. And both of you are, right? Yeah. yeah. She was seven. I was 12 when I moved. 11 yeah. when I moved. My sister I, was your age. Yeah, my sister was nine. So... Uh, I my think, God, we got to write it. I think there's a, yeah. Just, you, I think I, I, pe people just didn't know what we were. I think that's the problem. Yeah. You know and my I mean? parents literally own like a wholesale flower business. So everyone like my thought we were drug. No, Stop. shut way. the front door. <laughs> what did that's you say? So, my mom's a florist. That's <laughs> crazy. So weird. Whoa. We literally. Did you guys get? Did your mom get flowers? Are we the from same that? person? <laughs> Do your parents get flowers from Denise's wholesale <laughs> fresh flowers? Fucking AI, AI motherfucker. They're probably AI. The two you're AI. I'm AI. You're AI. 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 Actually, I'm not AI. You're look, totally I look fucking real. AI, I think. Yeah. No, you look come fake. On. Come on, you guys. You should see my neck. It's really wrinkly. <laughs> <laughs> you do look a little bit. You look what? <laughs> right? Do I look old? No, you look, your hair you look different than it was last time. Like, you like I look, pink. I look you exactly look the same no, as last time. I just hair, didn't have eyeliner. Did you, it's thick. It's thick. It's, thick yeah. it's the only virginal thing left on my body. <laughs> it looks great. Thank my you so much. I've never dyed it. It does. You know. Are, no, we, but, write, are we writing that? You know, no, M yeah. M NBC uh, is looking for. Companions, so they want Friday night to be two hour block of, of shows. Oh, like oh, so that they Let's so they match it, the ones that are already on. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they did. You know what? We see the Hispanic thing a lot, but we, there really is not anything besides the Mexican. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Only like, Mexican, it's yeah. only, only Mexican because Mexicans are primarily in Los Angeles, right? Right. Adjacent to the and it's easier industry. to make fun of Mexican people because there's like the stereotypes. That I mean, people when know. I was a kid, people like were like, "Oh, you're Mexican. You're Mexican." I'm like. I mean, I'd be cool being Mexican, but like I'm Colombian, dude. Yeah, people did <laughs> yeah. not know what there Brazil are different was. Latinos. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's other people that don't know what that is, and um, uh, the idea, even even in old shows that were where characters were Jewish or of a sense, or like Bob Newhart had different quirky kind of people. That's really what it is. Yeah, it's not ethnicity as much as it is the quirkiness of the, and of also, the characters. I don't yeah. know if you feel this, but I go to Colombia like often, but it's this weird like in between where like my cousins are like, ah, it is gringa. Like you're a gringa, gringa. And then my friends in America like make fun of me for like being Colombian. Yeah. So it's like we're kind of in the gray zone. I relate more to the term Latino than I do like anything else because it's like this like mesh of like Latinos in America. You know what I mean? Like we all have the same experience of like being immigrants, but like, and going back to our home countries and our cousins being like oh, fucking losers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause yeah. they're jealous. Right. Yeah. It's difficult watching you speak right now, you know, and you, because you look, I don't know why you, 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 you look born, raised American. And then you say Latina, you don't say Latina. No, but yeah. she looks, Latina. but don't you think she look, you look, I feel like you look Argentinian or like, I, you look like, I want to be Argentinian. She looks like Both she people was are. born and raised <laughs> in Virginia. <laughs> we're all, we're like race, we're racist yeah. about our own race if it's yeah. not our specific. Yeah, but the rest of the Yeah, country. no, it's true. I mean, it, it's, that's something like my whole, like, but some people are like, yeah, you do look Latina. And if I go back to 
Like if you go to Colombia, I do look like most Colombian girls. Yeah, same. I look really Brazilian. But, but when where, I'm in Brazil, I look. But really where Brazilian. does the idea like you know? When I was growing up, uh, when we anybody was your guy's age, they were afraid to make a decision, which a lot of the kids or young people still do. But where do you guys get the commitment or the drive to say, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do stand up, I'm gonna do this, and I'm not gonna get a job. I'm not gonna try to do that. This well, is what I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that. I mean that's always I always I, wanted to do I mean, this. really? Yeah. I got my yeah. master's in public policy. I thought I wanted to be what? a lawyer. Yeah, wow. that's crazy. Dude, that's the I only like, other thing I like. Went to UVA to like go to law school, and then I got my master's degree, and then I moved to LA for like a regular job at a nonprofit, <gasps> and then I started doing stand up because I had no friends, and I love comedians. That's so funny. Out of all the people that are good friends, you went for comedy. I know. <laughs> oh, shit. Literally, the like now worst. all my friends are comedians, which is like yeah, so you good still and have bad no friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, you know. Now we're here. And you fell into it. I are they reliable? Out. Are, they, are they reliable? Good for no. you. The little comics are the hand. worst. What? No, I said now That's we're friends. That's a little friends. ass hand, though. Oh, like, yeah, you, you like do have a tiny, like, like can see? I, is your you have tiny, a small hand. Your hands feel tinier to Remember those two yours. chickens that used to drive around the Zach, for the Zachy Farm chickens? Zachy Farms? Is they, that us? They cost chasing them. That's do us? your little fist again. Look at the tiny little. little close it. That's the way that the chicken hand looked when I was driving. <laughs> so funny. But to answer your question. It looked like that on the steering wheel. Well, like, you have a non-comedic exactly friend. I don't know, know it. it. You have a non-comedic friend. They talked and... Oh, uh, kill. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just to answer your question is that like, I didn't oh. really like just push. Like I was, I mean, I don't know. You probably felt this, but I've been, as like my career has grown, I keep feeling like regret for not having started sooner. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. fuck. I should have started sooner. I should start sooner. And I'm like, now I'm like, whatever. No, it but you know yourself How now. old are you? 27. There's no fucking, how do you even think yeah. that? Yeah, people I, that start no, when they're young, it's like, Well, because I know comics who like didn't even like go to college. So they started stand up when they were 17. And like by the time they're like 27, they've been doing it for 10 years, you know? And like with stand up. Yeah, but most you, likely they're fucking awful. Yeah, but you don't know yourself when you first start. You I know? think it, I started when I was 18. I was fucking awful for 10 years. Yeah, but then but then you were comfortable on stage and you can tell, you know? And like it's been me pushing and pushing and pushing to be because i know i'm funny but i just want to be myself on stage i want to get to the point where like i don't give a fuck and i mm. can just be myself and that takes time yeah mm. it does take it, time. it just takes time i'm more myself on stage than i am off stage because i have this new therapist he's like a cholo it's funny he's like you're depressed homie um I'm like, yeah, 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 I am. and he's like uh he's like on stage you're like fuck 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 and then you get off and you're like please i'm sorry I'm yes sorry. you it's are so weird like i'm a very like i'm a total pushover wow and i'm starting I'm, to learn how to be like fuck off like you know to be my stage persona. Is your boyfriend an actor? No, hell no. What does he do? He's in finance. Oh yeah, he is. Girl. Yeah, he's hot. <laughs> Cash that in. Yeah. <laughs> driving the he's car. a cholo therapist. We're driving the car. Therapist. No, no, no. He's a norm normal person with a normal soul. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. But I did date a comic for eight years, so I, I want to date a normal that. person. I yeah, but. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't have time for it. But a normal right like what? Like a, a non so, it's like a dentist. Person. No, <laughs> those motherfuckers are all depressed and shit. I, I did hear that. Yeah, dentists yeah. My depressed. dentist the other day he goes, "Ugh, fucking the guy won. Did you see won two million dollars or two billion dollars? Whatever the pot was." And I go, "If you won it, would you ever?" ever do dentistry again he's like i would never look at a tooth again and i was like wait so you don't love it <laughs> why do dentists hate their job so much we all hate our jobs nobody likes to work no. why is that when i was 13 i was going to dentist and i went in there i said where's dr rose and everybody was like <gasps> and uh, he committed suicide no r.i.p dr rose dr, dr. rose, rose <laughs> dude. Been dead a long time ago. I mean, your teeth were that fucked He's up. He's all decayed. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> 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 His teeth are fucking perfect. Yeah, yeah. His He's all, just all like shit's all frazzled and perfect yeah. smile. I have so much shit to do tomorrow. I'm going to the dentist tomorrow. Shout out to Dr. Dude. Dude, I never went to the dentist as a kid other than when we went back to Colombia because that shit's so expensive in America. It's so expensive we here. Would but only... how are they supposed to find you, though? Like, by your dental records? Oh, like, no. She's like... missing. Well, fuck, she didn't go to the dentist. I don't think I went to the dentist until I was in the army. Yeah, I never went to a dentist as a kid because they're supposed to fucking last you. That's why I have horrible yeah. teeth. Do you guys? I, don't you have like I've had like I never had anything. Those are they're pretty good. That's pretty good. I've they're had pretty. like you over forty teeth. cavities. Oh, I've had cavities, but yeah, I've never and had root any canals. Food. Everything's fake. <gasps> really? Yeah. How do you fucking forty good. cavities? 
I've had so many cavities. You, you, you used, to go, to, you used to go to sleep without brushing your teeth and all that no, shit? No, in Brazil, you grew up without fluoride. I remember there was a commercial that was like, how many times you brush your teeth? And this kid was being like interrogated. And he's like, twice a day. And he's like, what are you, an American? And then it's like, make sure to brush your teeth four times a day. No, in I Brazil. think more oh. importantly, like it's after every flossing. meal. That's a great commercial, by the way. Yeah. I love that. What are you, yeah. an American? And, and, and I, didn't have, I didn't have cavities or anything. You know, I had root canal problems when I went in the army, but I didn't have major dental took problems. took care of your teeth. Yeah, so I, it has I nothing to do with it's it care also, it's and genetics. 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 So it, uh, it yeah. has to be genetic if that's involved because my parents had good teeth as well. Yeah, I come from a long lineage of homeless teeth, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> because Yeah, but they, you guys have perfect teeth. Yeah, but Thanks. it's only on the outside. It's like my emotions. I was just going to say it looks good on the outside, but everything's fucked up on the inside. Oh, I love that. Like a little swan yeah. on the top. It's like, and then under it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 but I don't think you could date somebody normal. I don't think. I don't. I don't think. Uh, or, yes, or a normal, a, a lay person. You know what? Like you know, somebody that's um, not in the I industry, go back and forth. perpendicular to the industry, right? Like, like somebody who's a producer, maybe. Yeah. You know what I mean, or like somebody who not a writer, like nothing a creative. Like an EP, executive producer. Yeah, like a showrunner. Showrunner. That's I a good do one. Showrunner. Yeah. Anything that's in conflict is going to be a problem. I can tell. Right? Only I'm one very headshot. jealous. On, yeah. One headshot per relationship. And you're jealous too. Yeah, I'm Latina, dude. No, you'll get over it. <laughs> When you get older, you don't care anymore. I'm like, I don't care. Suck whoever's titties you want to suck. Well, I feel like, are you guys in an open relationship? Mm -mm. But I, he does allow me, like, because I'm pan and I like to so explore. So you're pan. That's why you don't get jealous. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. What's, what's, pan, what's pan? Pansexual means that I'll, like, go for it, whatever. Like, whatever potty part you've got. Oh, whatever. I guess I'm pansexual, yeah. too. But uh, sorry, I thought you meant poly. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, I'm not poly. But, you know, I, I used poly, to be a lot more jealous. So pansexual but, is, like, bisexual, but you're okay with, like, any gender or non-binary person. And polyamorous is when you date multiple people at the same time. And right. there's another one. Ready to do <laughs> this? There's another one called E&M. Ethical non-monogamous. Oh yeah. So people are like in relationships, but they're open ethnic ethically, so that you like have to communicate and go like, "Hey, this is my primary person. We don't wear a condom." And Whoa. then you fuck strangers on the side. Yeah. And everyone knows about it, and it's cool. Where was all this shit when I was younger? It was, yeah. it, it, there was just not names for it. It was you just called them. Yeah, they were called. Yeah, they're putas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hotos, oh, that shit, they were just called affairs he, for she, you guys. He, she's. That's how far we go back. Yeah, wait, it was wait, like guys for women, it was like for the streets, and for men, it was like <laughs> affairs. Okay, I, wait, a show <laughs> called Putas is a good. Uh, Title yeah. putas. Hijue putas. Hey, putas. You think you could do a show where you turn, where, where you, you let women become whores for a week and follow them around? Beca become? become? Like women that are like maybe housewives, but they want, oh, like they get, fantasize. They open of, up their relationship. Oh, that's a good one. Like remember True Life? On MTV, it was like MTV true had life. the best dating yeah, they did. shows, and it was like they would just follow people, and they're like, "I'm an alcoholic." They were like mini series documentaries or whatever. They should do what one about a senior Puntas. citizen that goes to, moves into a senior citizen living where it's not confined. You can go and come as you, please. and she turns into the senior citizen puta. Dude, She's that's a great idea. Had a guy, sure. All the old they, guys. That's in there. really funny because apparently, like senior citizen homes have mm -hmm. like the highest STD. Transmission. It's true. They all yes, have they STDs. Do. The one down in uh, Leisure World. <laughs> yes, Leisure so World had a big, big deal because he's like this place I used to go to. The blue pills. Everybody was doing it now, and there was so many. Wait, like a, Viagra? Viagra? Yeah. And they were having it was in the news probably about ten years ago. Just a bunch of old they dudes had, with hard. Do they have Viagra oh, no. for women? Viagra is. I yeah, was just talking about that diamonds. on the podcast. <laughs> 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 That's true. I have a friend Jewelry who like, does make I me wasn't wet. like very interested in, and then he bought me Bad Bunny tickets, and I was like, <gasps> How let's was go. It? <laughs> we didn't hook up. Yeah. What do you mean? You were like, let's. What's this? Let's go. You're yeah, driving the car, and then you have. Like, she drives like this. You know what Snoop gave me? Thank you, my word. Stop. Beautiful. Stop. Whoa. He gave you that. What yeah. does it say? It's death row. It just Wait, says I gotta take a picture of this. Here. With the amazing. shirt, it looks so good. Yeah, the shirt's good. <laughs> Can I ask you on the air, what you had to give up for that? Uh, move not this, my life, move but this. not yet. <laughs> Somebody's gonna come and snatch it off my... Oh yeah, I remember Chris Red Shug got Knight. robbed. I think it's Suge Knights, but he's not gonna need it for a while. <laughs> Touch it. <laughs> That's chunky. Is it heavy? I did his movie, Underdogs. Oh yeah. And I said, uh, hey, I'll take my fee in a, in a, in a death row chain, because he, he yeah. started... He, about death row records so then his assistant said uh hang on for hang on to that for a second you might be surprised i'm and jealous he gave it to put it on me i want to hang out with him and smoke weed with him so you said you're gonna bring he me to chicha really Chong, cool. to chong's house yeah. we gotta go smoke we gotta weed do with that him. yeah um, i'll smoke 
<laughs> what were you going to say? That? Were gonna say oh, that? Bad Bunny tickets? Yeah. Oh, I was just saying that, like, I never really thought I was, like, the kind of girl who would, like, be into, like, you know, gifts or things like that. But do you feel ob- Did you feel ob- no, obligated? No, no, definitely not. I would never... I have very strong boundaries. I, I, like, if I don't feel comfortable doing something, I don't want to do something, I don't fucking do it. That's what, like... No, nope, I'm not gonna keep well, going to keep Well, girls are different. Now. As guys, it should be. You guys, yeah. are, you guys are different. But, like, with my friend, it was, like, I, he, like, bought me Bad Bunny tickets or got me them, like, just to be kind. And I was like, oh, my God, that's the hottest thing anyone has ever done for me. Like, it's I love actually, language. Was, it's my love language. Yeah, gifts. Do your nipples get harder or do your ears get hotter? <laughs> no, those are My vagina goes, <laughs> I, as a pansexual, I feel like it's more my brain. Me like, too. I something get, goes off in mm, my brain. Same. Me too. I'm, I'm like, I'm fully personality. But it doesn't person. make you sexual. It turns you on inside. Yeah. In your head. Yeah. Like you fire on your. your um, yeah. Like Gifts of affirmation. It fills the I have whole a P.O. box for yeah. anyone listening. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just do you? Well, for the, for the podcast, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want them to send you? Um. Tickets to Bad Bunny, a uh, new couch, you know, the modular couches. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I want people to call me and go, I'm proud of you. <laughs> you do? Yeah. I like. I need validation. I'm proud that's of what you. I'm, thank you so much. I'm proud, I'm proud of you. Thank you guys so much. You know what it is? You know what it is? <laughs> guys in comedy, they release their specials, but what, they have the camaraderie of the whole community, right? Yeah, Other all, guys? like when a guy women? gets a late night spot, when a guy gets a late night spot, they like watch it at the club together. Yeah, women don't do that. Oh, they women still don't do come that? out. Yeah. When a girl gets a late night spot, it's like you're alone at home. (laughs) It's true that we don't. But you know what? Women don't show up like my followers. Okay, 80 percent men, like 20 percent women. All my stuff is for women. Yet they refuse to like it. Like it. (laughs) Why is that? Because feel women do, feel do, competitive. Okay. So I think there's an underlying competitiveness in women. Yeah. I also think it's just like bridging the gap still is like more men go to clubs. Like club comedy is very male oriented mm-hmm. just because of the scene. It's, all, you know? it's always been it. Right? Yeah. You don't want to be, a, you don't want to go out and get hit on on the whole night. It's but like, what my friend has been noticing, I have a friend who like has gone by on TikTok and is like using that to tour the country like on his own. And he's noticed ticket sales all the names are under the woman and they buy two tickets. The women are the ones buying tickets for them and their boyfriend. That's cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, TikTok's changed everything for me. It has. On the it? road, like my numbers online has changed everything for me for my numbers on the road. And how do you how do you approach TikTok then? I, I pay someone who runs it for me, I'm not gonna lie. In the oh. beginning, it was just too overwhelming. So he gets like the hashtags, what time to do it. He helps oh, me yeah. cut videos and stuff like that, but I interact. Like I'll go and you know. But here's what people don't understand: people. like the normal, the, the 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 normal or the person that's that out there is that most people don't do their own social media. Oh yeah, yeah. No. I just started. I mean, I post my own stuff, but I just started paying someone to like cut my clips for me because it's a lot I was of work. like, because it's emotionally draining to like watch your own set because you have to. Let's say like one joke bombs. You have to like watch that to like get to the other. I hate jokes. watching my own self do. You know, it's like painful. I mean, I think it makes you a better comic. And I still, I, I prefer to. I listen to my my sets, but I can't fucking watch them. I know I look so ugly you in my all clips. Them? Yeah, no. I, I started to. I'm starting to. I have. I bought a new backpack that's like a tiny backpack, and it has like a little pocket for my nice camera. Fucking take it to every show now because. I used to be paranoid that when I filmed my sets, I would have a bad set. And now I'm like, well, if I film every single set. Also, sometimes clips do well when they didn't do well in person. You never know what, like, what hits online. Right. Like it might be a quiet moment. There's no, not even laughs and I have, it'll have like 4 million views. I, like, I knew what? a dude that used to go early and he had a tripod like that. And he would stand in the back of the room and he would you know, adjust it. And, and then put it into the sound system like yeah. that. And he's the only one doing it. He goes, dude, why don't they just record it through the system? No, no, this is better. You don't want to see myself. Motherfucker got off stage. They took his fucking camera. Uh, oh. They stole it? Oh. Yeah, because no, the, the room wasn't all the way full. <laughs> so everybody was ahead and nobody was that back Nobody there. was watching so it? So he was on stage and somebody walked in. Wait, like, someone stole his camera? camera? Fucking took off. That's so fucked up. So when he got off, he went to go look at Like so excited? <gasps> he was all excited and fucking just the tripod was there. <laughs> That's so sad. But I, someone stole my chicken camera. Chicken. I would be, I just I would bought one. I'd be devastated. Cry. So I it's used to tape, awesome, I always try to get a tape set. I could never get a good one to like submit to late night or whatever. And I finally get this great set on the road. It's Sunday night last night. I'm so excited. I go back and I go, Bobby, I finally, I'm on the road. Bobby, I finally got a tape. And he goes, oh no, you're going to be so mad at me. 
he took my camera in the middle of my set into the green room, took down his pants, and oh. was just filming his oh. pants on the camera. Ah. Uh, yeah. oh, Are you yeah. fucking? Yeah, I don't think I've ever forgiven him, but I. What an like asshole! That. Yeah, what a dick! <laughs> Literally, <laughs> the other day Literally. somebody was filming a set and no. he was just fucking with the camera. I'm like, Bobby, what's wrong with? He has a problem. That's like, not funny. Yeah, I would sue him yeah. now that I have a lawyer. Uh, <laughs> hi, what? Hi, hi. I need to sue a comic. Yeah, yeah his buttholes in my. What camera? are the terms? Yeah. What TV guys have you guys done? Um. Or what TV would you do? Oh, I haven't done any TV oh, if you want to help my, out with that situation. We don't have enough time. What do you want to do, though? I want to do, in terms of stand-up, I want a late-night set. I think, like, what are the baseline. What are the top three late-night sets? Well, Kimmel doesn't do stand-up anymore. Mm -hmm. He stopped. So mm -hmm. I think Jimmy, and then Jimmy Fallon just started. So I think I would do Jimmy Fallon or Corden, because Corden, what I've noticed is he um, mics the audience. So the set actually sounds really good. Mm -hmm. So like, isn't he going away? Though? I understand. Court yeah, is, going, is on his way back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I wanna, also, I don't think they have stand up. They don't have stand up. But Trevor sure, Noah's leaving too. Um, I want to host the late night show. <laughs> that's my oh, yeah, dr that's the dream. Late, I really want to be the first female comic to host late night. What happened to the girl that was doing NBC? The Indian girl. Oh, uh, Lily Sai. Yeah. I don't think she had a lot of experience with doing like stand up and she stuff like that. She was a YouTuber. Yeah. Is, oh, it's over. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Yeah, she's a really sweet girl. How long did it go? Uh, two seasons, I think. Oh, Two yeah. seasons. I also think it's hard to do. Was it for a streaming service, right? Um, no, it was. Uh, no, NBC. It was NBC, but it was oh. Peacock. So it was like the late night. At ABC. Peacock's got some yeah. fucking. Yeah. Hey, that's my dream. Hey, I want to have your a late show, night show, Peacock. Yeah. Oh wait, I didn't post this. But By the way, speaking of his show, I got picked up. Yeah. Congratulations, oh, yeah. Congratulations, Jordan Lopez. To George. Thank you. Picked up. Thank you. God bless him. Thank you. When I was in New York, I took Another a bunch winner. of pictures of your billboards. You did in the subway. Yeah. Wait, I got to show you. When she cries, oh, it's so She's, sweet. I <laughs> saw that. I saw that when she did it. She did? She cried? Yeah. She cried. Why? What are you saying that for? No, I think she's, you know, she's all right. Wait, I want to show you. <laughs> Wait, who cried? My daughter. Oh, what I know. Saw, I follow her. But you, saw, but you know what? I was telling Jimmy Kimmel last night. It's almost like I, I, I can't say no. Like, well, I'm doing the People's Choice Awards tonight. Oh, tonight? With her. Because yeah. they asked her, and she goes, I'll do it. And then... And then I I wouldn't. Oh, that the one that drew, drew a dick on me? No. Oh, I did see that one, but I didn't take a picture of you know it. Oh. Let me see. Did. You did? Yeah. Oh, that's so great. The colors pop hey, up. I, I, we went to a Raider game. There's a guy, this guy named Doug, and he and and he's you know from San Francisco, a well-to-do guy. Mm -hmm. And you know when you start drinking, you know everybody who grew up with money want it wants to make it seem like they're down. And so you know he goes, my mom, you know, used to work two jobs and. And, and and you know I'm not a, uh, like a like a uh, what they call it trust fund baby and he's just right. going on and yeah. on right and we're looking at him we're like and I said hey my mom had to suck dicks to make ends meet <laughs> <laughs> well, and I go do you know whose dick she sucked he goes no I went <laughs> the guy's like all right no, no. <laughs> he looked at us like what the fuck is wrong <laughs> 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 I know, I'm like, it's a, it's a joke. Everybody I, ran around, I, I, I had a fucking hook line. I ran around the bar like three times. Because I, I got him. Because you could see him all in, you know. And he's like, no. Who? <laughs> 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 Why? Did you That's see so Dolly funny. Parton telling that joke the other day on Fallon? No. She says this whole thing about this bear that they, they would feed Cokes to this bear, right? Oh. It was like an attraction. And then one asshole like fed him gasoline. And the bear broke out and he's running around. <laughs> And then he, you know, he passes out. And then Fallon goes, "Is he dead?" She goes, "No, he just ran out of gas." And everyone, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. That's a That's fucking. She's good funny. One. She's yeah. really. Good. If you see her concert, she does a lot of stand up. You ever hear the one where where, like, where the guy uh, goes in? He has an alligator under his under his arm, and he puts it at the at the bar, and and uh, he goes down the other side of the bar, and he takes his pant dick out, and he takes a, a club, and he hits a fucking alligator on the head. Bam! And the alligator comes and blows him, and then goes back. <laughs> Well, it's like automatic. Yeah. All right, want to see something? Fucking alligator that blows him and then backs up. He goes, does anybody want to try it? And he goes, I will, but don't hit me so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you get lost. <laughs> That's guttural. That's coming straight from the dick. Hey, so throw that thing out there again. <laughs> yeah, I got fucking out of him. Right? <laughs> 
mean, it's great. That, he, uh, he could never go to one of those naked but shows. But that's what I'm saying. Uh, Jokes uh, like that is, are they're, fucking they're great. They're done. They're done. They, people uh, don't tell they don't jokes tell like jokes that. Like, yeah. Yeah. like if people are almost like, wait, so what does that have to do with you? Like yeah. they don't, when it's yeah. too like, you know, but those are the kinds of things I fall in love with. I romanticize yeah. old school comedy so much. I you mean, know? It fits. Andrew Dice Clay it was fits, like, yeah. yeah, like who I. I used to love Michael. You know, uh, I mean, Andrew Dice Michael. Clay. I'm thinking of Michael T. Told us a story. Went out to dinner with him. They were doing, we were filming, uh, shit, the big a shootout born. movie. Oh, Heat. No. With Al Pacino. Heat. Val Pacino. I said a Al Pacino. Born. I keep trying Al to like drink the mic. I used to do this all the time when we recorded here. When I'm drinking something, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like See, she has a like, See? I like forget. It's, Michael T is telling us a story when they were filming uh, he fucking just Forrest Gump. Where it is. Like, anyways, he, he, he picked up. He was filming Forrest Gump. They got done shooting. They were shooting in Georgia. Everybody's leaving the set. He says there was one guy having trouble with his car. It was an extra. <laughs> And so he, I felt sorry for the guy. He said, hey, I'm going back into town. You want to ride? He says, yeah. He goes, he just about to get to my, he said, oh, I forgot something. Runs back to his car, grabs a bag, gets back in the car. Michael D. starts driving. And Michael D. told him, he says, yeah. He says, you know, the guy kept looking inside the bag. And so I just said, hey, you must have something awful important in that bag. He says, yeah. He says, you don't mind me asking, what is it? The guy looked at me and said, none of your business, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Michael says, I slammed on the fucking brakes, threw his ass out of the car. He left the bag in there, and I fucking took wow, off. Wow, man. That Whoa. And then I asked him, what I said. What was in the bag? So what was in the bag? He looked at me and said, none of your business, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a one. This motherfucker's out there, huh? That's a joke. Oh, uh, you got to come out to the ice house to see. Uh, I need you. <laughs> I'll go out there. Yeah, they're opening again, February 10th. Ice nice. House. Oh, they were close. For They've been close this whole time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm excited. The that first time I went to good. the Ice House, I was still working during the day. And I left my job to go there and and audition for one guy. And I, I was in Northridge. And Bob? I, no, this guy Dave McNary. I think oh. he retired. Yeah. And I left my day job and I fucking flew over there and did like six minutes and went back. And, <gasps> and he didn't laugh, you know. And then he I came <laughs> back and he called me. Goes, he was all kind of nervous. He's like... Yeah, I think I'll give you a shot, you know. They always sound yeah. like that, too, like they're doing yeah. you a favor. Yeah. They oh, they are. Did, yeah. Did, that was in, like, At 80, the time. That was like 80. But it's George Lopez. Wait, did you interact with Mitzi? <laughs> Do you have any Mitzi stories? Yeah, Mitzi told me. She goes, why are you? I, I was, I kept, Aren't I have, you funny? I have two, a couple. I got, Mitzi Shore. I, this is Polly Shore's mom. Yes. mom. Yeah. I went in there, and uh, they gave me the yeah, light. Yeah, the They gave me the light, and then. <laughs> give him the light. They, they said, I was, I was. You know, doing good. Like, turn, leave the light on. I'll turn it off. So I, I did more. I go, what do you want me to do? He goes, keep going. And then went up there. And then I went back there to the commits wants to talk to you. And I oh, said, well, man. how did I do? And she goes, where are you from? Mm. And I'm like, I'm from uh, San Fernando Valley, from Mission Hills. Why don't you work there, the clubs there for a couple of years and then come back? <laughs> And then, like, almost like they got you by a fucking collar. Yeah. Literally. And I said, fuck, there are no clubs over there, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you mean? Worked the clubs in Mission Hills for fucking two, two more, years. Two years, too? <laughs> the audacity to be, like, two years? And then at Richard Pryor's funeral, uh, David uh, um, West. What's his name, David West? David, David West. He was Richard yeah. Pryor's. He was about ask, the three dudes that were hilarious. Richard Pryor, Paul Mooney, Paul Mooney, and David Banks. He passed away. They I don't know him. Banks, I'm writing this down. Banks. And so Mitzi funny. is coming down the, the aisle there at the White Chapel at Forest Lawn, and she's about this big, she's and terrible. she's got all this hair, and she's old and all in black, and just shuffling down the thing. And he sees her, and he goes, look, he goes, look at this. And it's Mitzi. And he w waits for her to get past us, and he sticks his arm out, and he grabs her on the, on the forearm like this, and he goes, don't leave. You'll be back Wednesday. <laughs> We were at Forest Lawn. <laughs> 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 we fucking he and he let her get by. And don't leave. In the fucking chapel where we're just left. Oh my god. And he said, and I ran outside. I was in the back yeah. of the fucking chapel. And he comes out, he goes, Where'd you go? I fucking was dying. I mean, so you can't be laughing that yeah, long at a chapel yeah, or at a body funeral. Over there, Richard Pryor's funeral. <laughs> no, but I, I have told Although that, I guess if it's one funeral, yeah, you it's can a, laugh at. It's probably at, that Richard, one. Yeah. Every comic that passes away, it's horrible. But I have to admit, like the funerals at the comedy store are the hardest I laugh. Because it's yeah. like when you it, when you have so much pain, like that release, like laughter is release, right? Every, it's not always nothing happy. Nothing better than yeah. laughter for the right? soul. Yeah. The release of nothing. like I was also talking to like a 
friend of mine, another stand up, and he she has and a lot of friends. <laughs> I have so many I, I friends. Know, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> and he was what kind like, of comedian are you? <laughs> I know. Right? Do you yeah. spend a lot of time alone or not? Uh, it's yes. I, 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 you know what? I could not have done stand up if I had to be around people. Mm-hmm. I, I do want to. Be, I currently yeah. have. Let's just say I currently have roommates, and uh, I'm trying Ooh. to move out. That's for sure, rough. I want to be alone. They have day jobs, so I do spend like all day alone at home. But I want them to not come back. <laughs> it's hard to have a room. <laughs> yeah. But what I was going to say is like, don't tell them you were on the podcast today. Nah, that dude, they stopped they supporting care, they me. Like they've stopped. I've a lot of shit has happened this year that has been great. And at first they were like, "Congrats!" And now they don't even like look at me when they get home. What do they do? Oh. They have real jobs. They have yeah, both of them are assistants. Ugh, the content. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the so, contention is real. So what, yeah. show, yeah. what shows you guys want to be on? I want to. I want to help you guys get on. Really? Let's see. Let's see if I hacks. can get you guys on shows. I want to be on Hacks. <laughs> I Hacks don't. is my favorite show. No, no, no. but a stand-up show. Oh, oh a I would love show? to do like late night Jimmy. Yeah, late Fallon. night. Jimmy late Fallon. Night. Yeah. Yeah, like late night, a late I haven't night done set, late night. but like in terms of TV shows, yours. <laughs> yeah, yours. Just put us on yours. Yeah, but we can play twins. We can play sisters. Or like I should have you guys on. old yeah. aunts. Yeah, or like, young girls. You know, like, or I'm, you know oh, what? You or we're bad. Yeah. We're a bad yeah. influence on your daughter, and we start to get her to do. Yeah, we like so. her cousins. Yeah. We can be you like, know? oh, your cousins. We cousins come into from town. Out of town. <laughs> and then we come in. We get her to do all this bad stuff. And at the end, you know, you got to do the sitcom thing. She goes, Dad, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. I should. Yeah, I shouldn't have hung out. But I think it's pretty good to have. Bad yeah. influence on the show. Yeah, we're the bad influence. We're the bad. We're, we're like we have, in. We have, we're in from Mexico City or something. No, and we're, before you're from. Where from you're from? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're like second cousins yeah. from like Brazil and Colombia, and we're like eh. I can be from a different. Place, I think so it's it makes great sense, though. I think know? it's so. great. Girls she went to school with, and you know, yeah. like that. It's like that. Yeah, and we like have I re- her. Um, we try and convince her to like open her relationship up with her husband. Right. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're, we're like, like we're we like, like a gay bar. We yeah, we're, we're like, bar. come on, ethical non-monogamy. Everyone's doing it. You know? I think you guys should. I think you guys should tr- consider writing a show. Oh well, honestly, good luck. I've tried so many. I've pitched so many shows. Well, let's do it together. Ow! Yeah, Sorry. she can actually write. So maybe. Yeah, you can write. Uh, yeah. Do it together. Do it together. Yeah. Do it together. Pitch or a do show. It, yeah. I also like honestly, I work better like in. Groups. Group, me too. Like I, whenever I want to write, I like text all of my friends because <laughs> I have so many. Yeah, no. And I go to like I'm like let's meet up at a coffee shop because like if not, I don't. I need someone to hold me accountable. You know, I'm like if you're working, I'm working. But right. if I'm alone, I'm on Instagram. You know, I'm like distracted. What shows have you not done that you want to do? <laughs> that we can get you. I'm just kidding. Yeah, let me see what I can get you on. <laughs> no. What have you done that you don't want to do? Nothing. He's done you, everything. I've done, done it all. Everything. Yeah. You've I did climbed. the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. You did Carson. I did that. Cool. You and also you worked with Joan, my idol. Yes. And um, way back to the Carol Burnett show. No, no fucking. Not that fucking <laughs> Gross, but, not. Um, but all all the all the main ones, Arsenio, and then past Sajak, even. You know what I really did you ever want? do? Yeah, another yeah. late night. Okay, show how about this? Dude, I can't like, get over the idea of like convincing Mayan to like what? cheat on her. Husband. Oh yeah, that's I funny. Know. I think that's a funny. And idea. especially because he's like white, we can be like, come on, have you, you got to get a Latino? Latino? Have you been with a Latino? <laughs> yeah. And, and then, then we, have, he, and then we he, go out with all these cholos and we get yeah. our high. I think it's pretty good. That's a good that's idea, good. actually. Yeah, that's hilarious. But I want to do is, it. Isn't everybody's parents, their, their worst nightmare is like, like they bring some kids and they make friends with these kids and they're bad influences. That's always yeah. the fear. But that's it's not even a, a bad influence. They're just out there having fun. Which yeah. Is, well, to us, it would be a bad influence. Yeah. But they're just having fun. Yeah. But maybe then she catches us, then you end up go- coming out with us. That's the plot <laughs> twist. Just like it's normally in like regular relationships, like the dad would be like. You could be related to L. Yeah. Oh yeah. That Al would hasn't work. had any yeah, he hasn't have, yeah. And he hasn't really had as much of a storyline. Yeah. yeah. Not yet. But yeah. He Not will. Yet. He's funny. And the plot twist is that like she's expecting you to take her side, and then like you take her side. <laughs> yeah. You should be yeah. going out more with girls like this. You what? Know, Al. Al. Al uh, there's a. There's a. There's a. Uh, thing where Stephen Tobolowski, the guy, uh, the actor, who was a well known actor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what would you say he, he's done that? Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day, and uh, he plays uh, the the Quinton, the, you know, um, what's his name? Sobolowski. Yeah, Sobola- uh, Tobolowski. Tobolowski. So he, he he plays the insurance salesman in Groundhog Day, but also plays Matt's d- father. There you go. And he comes in, yes. he's like perfect. We all know him. He's amazing. He's so funny. Perfect. I worked with him on Californication. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And supportive. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to find some dirty laundry on him, you know, and then. 
Um, he doesn't have any. And then Al and I are smoking weed in the in the in the van that we created that van, and we take pictures of. We're gonna try to frame them. Yeah. And we take pictures of of L does this, and oh, so it we try like to make it a vagina. And, oh. and I got the camera, and I'm going, open it up, be happy, be happy. <laughs> and he's moving his elbow in different parts. Like this, like this. Yeah, you make it like hilarious. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking hilarious. Oh, that's so good. Awesome. And he's like crawling to me. I go, walk towards me, walk towards me. And he's holding it open like that. And he's wow. closing yeah, this it. is oh, also, like this that. one is like a butthole. Yeah, and this one's got like, you know, you got a little hair too. So oh, it looks like she Like yeah. that, yeah. yeah like, 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 like that. that one. Yeah. Except mine, like, <laughs> then, mine, I just have like, mine is like this. Do it again. It is? Yeah, yeah. Mine's like, I got a big old. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What? No, no. How, how you're also Brazilian, so you have like a yeah, Brazilian wax. Like, like there's no. No, no, no. I'm lasered. Oh right. Yeah. You are. Yeah, the whole body. You're like committed. Uh, hot. I like to invest. I. No, I have a bush. Not. I'm not like a child, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do think I the whole idea of like big, like Brazilian is like Brazilian wax is like low key pedophile vibes because it's like it looks like a baby. You know? Yeah, but some uh, people a, like that. Like I like my I like my boyfriend to wax his butthole, so I do that. That's probably a good yeah. idea. Yeah, I like I just like it clean. But but isn't, but, isn't that, but isn't the hair there for as a purpose, almost like a shield to catch yeah to catch to poop? catch germs and <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. you can't. How do you wipe your whole butt? How do you wipe? <laughs> you know what's so funny? Because my guy was like, my guy was like, <laughs> I want. He was like, I want a girl to wax my butt, and I'm like, you're not getting a girl. You're getting a gay guy. That's what's that's what's yeah, gonna yeah, happen. Gay guys do the, yeah, they yeah. Do the best work. Yeah. And when we went there, there was like the guy who played a. Uh, who was that Superman show? What was it called? Uh, Smallville. Smallville. The guy from Smallville. His headshot was on the wall. I was like, see, nah, you're in good hands. Aww. That didn't a good. You're in good hands. That's such an LA If they bleach your oil, Smallville. That's what it's called. <laughs> Have you been to Smallville yet? Like they do pink cheeks. At some point, I think pink cheeks you know because you know that's a good you're one. out there yeah that's you got so a lot of living spanked. to do you know on that note i have to pee i'll be right back all right go ahead <laughs> um wait Let's but i do back. want to tell you this i just went in for the reboot for fraser so oh. if you want to put in a good word for that. what what part was that i went in for olivia one, one time of the series regulars first time you went in or call back um i went in for an, one role and then they brought me in for a different oh, series regular so it, but it was all taped so i don't get to get any gauge of how i want i think you'd be good on a show i think i'd be and good you on act that too, show right too. yeah you act. yeah 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 i was a series regular on a show what show were you on it's called manhattan love story it was on abc we didn't even make it a whole season but it's it was tough. a good show it's i was tough. proud of it it's tough isn't it it's really tough like i don't think people understand like especially so right tough. now because there's so many with streaming acting and all those like shows, yeah man. because you can do comedy I can always be a comedian. I can right. be a better comedian always. But the thing is, like, my heart, I want to act. Like, I really want to. So the soup was a perfect thing because I got to be a comic. And then right. I also got to do sketches and stuff like that. Right. But do the soup. That's if right. I, yeah, but I really want to host late night. I really want to host a late night show. And I really want to act again. I just want to, you know, commercials is fine. You can still get commercials. But, you know, when I, when I, you know, when I got my first show years ago, I would never even gotten many auditions, much less fucking book your own show with, named after you. So all that stuff was all brand new to me. So exciting. In the beginning. And then, you know, the ratings would come out, it got picked up, and then you do like 120. Nobody thought we'd get past That's four That's insane, or by the way. That never Wait, happens. The, oh, my first show. How, how I couldn't even get auditions for TV. Yeah. There's the other year. I know. And then, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're in there and you're going there for years and now you start to be like that's your job and you know you're coming back. And then when you leave... Since you were inside, I don't think you realize how hard it is to get in because you were in. I was in for so long. I had an office at Warner Brothers for ten years. That's my dream. And, Driving up to Warner Brothers. That's and my dream. You just drive on and hey, and you go in there and you change and you go there and you go home and it's just like this fucking amazing job. And then when it was over, you know, I did two years of the of the talk show and then you think you're out because I'd been back to ABC and CBS, not. NBC Wait, what too. show was your talk show on again? It was ABC uh, or TV or TBS. TBS. Okay, yeah. yeah. And uh, we're talking about doing some stuff other more Cause freedom because all, all this stuff is like all brand new again. So you yeah, know, people are like, oh George, you know, we, should, we should get you to do some hours for us. Yeah, I mean Backstreet yeah. Boys are back. Would you ever so. do another talk show? Yeah. Would you or mm -hmm. you want to? I would. Yeah, yeah well, I would too. It's like uh, kind of like a podcast. So it's, it's like, kind of like this, yeah. yeah. And then you know, there's so much. There's so many. References that are that are made of of the show. Like I was watching uh, Johnny Carson, Ed McMahon, George. Wait, Gill. let's all audition right now to be George's sidekick. 
<laughs> Hola, soy Dora. No, I'm just kidding. We do live commercials. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Uh... Hi, I have anxiety. <laughs> Wait, that's but, my line. <laughs> but you know, I, I, oh, so let me finish. So, yeah. so, you know, when they presented this, this idea, like I think two years ago, a year ago, you, it's the furthest thing from your mind that it could go because there's so many fucking. Wait, and who's they? Like, you're, like you have a rep, like all your the reps? agents and all yeah, that yeah. stuff. Yeah, they pitch it yeah. and they see whether you like it, and then you know, Maya's like, I don't like this part of it, and you're in that. And like, she hadn't had a show yet. I'm like, bitch, you haven't even had a show. Yeah, <laughs> she doesn't like, like it. shit. It's you so like lucky. It to it because something real. Yeah. yeah. And then you 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 start to get closer, and then they buy it, and then you go do the pilot, and now you're like, this is gonna get picked up, and then you go and get the. 13 and you do the 13 and yeah. now you're like are you, is it going to continue? Now is it going to be 9 more? Yeah. Is it going to be, yeah. yeah. And I a didn't... whole a whole night. But you know, for being a comedian like, you know, us, like you know, you're in the clubs but then going during the day and you're rehearsing and then you're in <laughs> that it. and you go to your yeah. dressing room. It's the fucking It's the best. It's the that's best. Like summer what camp. I want that's because what I want. like that's what I like miss about even though my day job wasn't in something that I like wanted my dreams to be in, I love working with people. Like I want to go in somewhere and like work with other people and I feel like stand up alone can be such a lonely it's so thing. It's so solitary. Yeah, it's, I'm it's so awful. sick of it. Like if I don't have a friend with me on the road, it's yeah. really difficult for me. Yeah. yeah. It's really hard. And I'm like I'm going to go do stuff. 14 hours later, I've been like watching TV. Yeah, and, and even bed. though everyone know, feels lonely, bad. everyone yeah. is also prioritizing their own career. So, as yeah. much as like you want to work with other people in stand up, you're like, our schedules don't line up. So, it's like if you're on a show with someone, it's your job, then you have to, you work together. And then together, the show ends yeah. and nobody talks again, and you're like, were we really friends? <laughs> but also, but also, also, I know, right? Yeah. Like, hey, we're gonna be yeah. Friends. All, yeah. But also, um, you know, the show hadn't come on. It's only been on like a month, right? Yeah. So, so, and then, like, I think last Tuesday they ran the pilot and then the episode with, with the mm-hmm. Spanish episode. And then that did really Wait, what well. do you mean with Spanish episode? We did an episode where mine doesn't speak Spanish. Oh, I, I see. I see. I was like, did you do one all in Spanish? Where she goes, naranja. I go, mine, that's, that means orange. Go, me naranja. <laughs> That could be where I come in, too, because I speak fluent Spanish, but, and I could be, like, the cousin that makes fun of her. Yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> yeah. we already, we've done a pretty good job of yeah. bringing people in, like, the ants and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, and that, of just making people part of the world, and you know, you're just introducing them But that's people. how people get addicted yeah. to the world, because they want to see all the characters. It makes them feel like they're part yeah. of it, you know? Yeah. Like, I miss shows when I really like, like them, and they house. end. Like, White yeah. Lotus. Yeah. All I think about is White Lotus right like now. Like, you think about... Also, like every character, however small it is, it like adds right. to the world. I did Kimmel with the. Let me see if I can't read my thing. Ugh. I did Kimmel with with. Why the, didn't I get a dad I on TV? I missed Kimmel last night, and I just found out about it this morning when I heard it. Uh, I did Kimmel with the girl from. Wow, Gil, the, really? The, you missed his appearance on I didn't late know night. Was That's be not on. really a sidekick thing to miss. With the the girl from White Lotus. Oh my the, God! The, the, the I love her. It doesn't even look like her in this photo. Now I gotta see if she's we can so get cute. it from Hulu. Tape it. You know, she looks good, right? She's she so looks good. Cute. Yeah, she's very funny. She's so uh, good on the show. She, I love her. I love her. She seems like genuinely she looks cute. like good vibes. Like yeah. nice. Yeah, like her personality it's really comes dark, through her. Though, White Lotus. It's dark. It's getting yeah. dark, man. I know. Like I know. I think I know what's gonna happen, but I'm scared. Yeah, somebody's I mean, definitely gonna die. Get, I watched the trailer. I watched the sneak peek for next week. I'm obsessed like with the Italian sluts. How many more? How many more? One. one. There's only one more. I love the Italian prostitute they're girls. Hot. That's my yeah. favorite story. You lines. know, I heard that they are they're friends in real life, and they read for each other during the audition, and the director didn't know, but he like cast both of them. That's amazing. As wow. like each other. Never. Best I have friends. goosebumps. Oh my god. Have you seen White Lotus? No. Oh wait. You must watch it. Well, then he's going to watch it for the problem. He's going to get touch, so hot. Touch me like that. I'll binge watch it. They're hot, aren't they? Yeah. They're hot. You know, the, but the first season's really good, too. The one that's... White Lotus. Oh, okay. yeah. I will say, the thing about... It does take, like, a, a episode or two to get into it. Because you're like... You're only like, what am I investing in this? You know, it's very slow build up, but it's worth it. I but the last one, the last problem I have, I, I get recommendation. Hey, you got to watch. It's a great show, but you got to get through the first episode. Yeah, and then that, that sucks. Yeah. You know, I'm sitting there. I ain't gonna pay attention to this shit. It's no That's good. why I think it's better to watch once all the episodes are out, so that you can binge it. I yeah. love White Lotus, and Wednesday is another one that's so. What am I good. missing on Wednesday? Wednesday, what you don't I, like it? I saw it. What am I missing? You know what? I, I like coming of age. I like I like high school storylines, and I like like weird little like freaky. I, I guess I just love shows about autism. Is she, <laughs> Does she autistic? Have autism? Does she not? Is she? Uh. I just I know she's a little, little, so I'm yeah, like, that's sad. Right? That's she feels sad. like, what? It's not. It's, like, little tontitos? Yeah, it's sad. Right, I, like, I like funny stuff. No, man. it's it's funny because, well, I guess it wouldn't, it's not funny. It's like kind yeah. of an adventure, like what mystery. Yeah. 
But I just it's like, like the number one show on Netflix. Uh, you know what I like? I like how the it, world looks. I like the way that it's well, yeah. a I different wanna world. Tim Take Burton a second to it. talk yeah. about to you and your show. Like you're saying, like Wednesday's like the number one show on Netflix, and it's like I feel like, and I've never been on the other side of it, but I feel like networks they choose what shows are number one, right? You know, they choose how much marketing budget they're going to put yeah. into a it's show. True. They choose whether to put it on the homepage. So like, yeah, Wednesday's number one because it's shoving it down our throats, dude. Yeah, but they I do. think a lot of people are watching it too because it's it hits a bit, bunch of, it's a huge it's demographic. A, it's a child right? and yeah. adult demographic. Exactly. But what I was going to ask you with like your show is like, you know, how do you feel? Because like, I mean, I don't know about your show, it but I know- everywhere. Yeah, they did a really good job of it marketing was everywhere, it. And yeah. I loved to see that because I know a bunch of friends like- you know, Hentified on Netflix. They didn't market the, Dude, that my show, show that at I was just all. talking about nothing. We had nothing. We had like one billboard, yeah. Manhattan Love Story. Like nobody knew about it. And then yeah. um, what was the show Chris Estrada is doing on Hulu? Oh, Fool. Fool. Uh, You're Fool? Was it <laughs> This, this fool, fool. I this love fool, that show. It's like on Hulu. They got a second season. They got a second season. Oh, oh but that's good. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know this. My but. show on Hulu though, Hotties. There's not like there's no advertisement for it. But I did all my own PR for it. I think. I, I think. I don't know for sure. And like Chris, DM me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but I feel like I know. Like I think Chris might have done a lot of his own PR. He did. For it. He did. But they they pushed it. I mean, how do they, they decide they what it. Hulu what they pick up by numbers I think or by they, the feel of it? I think they pick up on their they first pick up their originals. So ours was done with a separate production company. Oh. So it wasn't an in house mm. production. So already we had odds against us. But so far they haven't picked up any scripted shows besides the Kardashians. Damn. So we're thinking it's not looking good, but I'm trying not to get too sad about it before it even happens. But there's no way to know what's going to be successful. It doesn't what, matter if it's Sometimes good. when I'm bored, like we're not bored, but I don't have time to watch my friends' shows. Like I have a friend who just released um a special online uh he's fucking hilarious he opens for um angela a lot what's oh her, yeah what's um, his name his name is don't tell me don't tell me don't tell me mal hall mal hall mal hall he just released a special he's amazing he's so funny based out of san diego and i have seen him live a bunch but i didn't have time to watch it on youtube so yeah. i just put it in the back of my browser <laughs> see this and I, I just let it play. Up like the closet? Oh. No, no I let, let it play, play so that's that amazing. he gets a view. That's amazing. And I'm like, that's like, could you I'm watch, like, could you do that I to my do special, that to please? Thank your you. Special. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, no, I know. Yeah. You know what? I was hurt when Mal Hall's special came out because I saw that Angela was like, my guy who opens for me has a special. Like, no, none of my comedian friends posted about my special. Not oh. one. That's like, you know Angela what I mean? They all have lady. the rub. Like, it almost feels like I'm fighting against. Like, my fight is like. What was your special on? It's called. It's on YouTube. I really self released it through Helium. Helium Comedy Studios I think that was did this too, right? Twelve specials. It's called Jaded. Um, oh, wow. And it's on YouTube. Yeah, it's good. I'm gonna ch I'll check it out. That's all I watch is YouTube almost. Yeah, yeah. me too. I love YouTube. Primarily, but yeah. the thing is, like, that's the thing. I, f I felt like I didn't get the rub on this one. Right. You know the like the, and I almost feel like it's like it makes people upset. Like yeah, my husband well, upsets people. Uh, well, I'll tell you, the first show we had to like fight all the way, but this one, you know, they liked it from the beginning. Like the <sighs> concept of it, I think we stuck to what they wanted mm -hmm. and they were behind it I mean they flew me Sunday to the football game in Dallas to, to sit there that's and wave amazing. when they put the camera on me and then people went crazy because you know See what, like, that's what I me. wanted to ask you so you feel like I feel like it, I, I feel like in, since it's only been on a month that immediately people already know of the show yeah we were, I shot a PSA for a stand up to cancer and then a guy was working out there and he goes hey I love you hey George Lopez I love the show with your daughter and like that you, you don't expect it to come from yeah. somebody like that yeah I mean that's Pretty yeah, wild. when they're behind it, when everybody, it's like you think you understand how much change it would make if there was a team behind. Me. It's you like, know what I mean? what's the word that a lot of like networks <clears throat> use? It's like um, their uh, end, not end, their mandate. Right. Oh, a yeah, lot they have of to networks have like mandates. Yours and fits every box. But I think the Gen Z Family. aspect of the generational Both, trauma, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. the old dad and the and the kid that and the you, American kid that's really yeah. and you guys have what's yeah. his name the little kid from TikTok Bryce? he's so funny man he's fucking good man he's so good yeah, the kid's he did famous that, on he did that, that lip sync lip sync lip sync to the novella thing that he didn't speak Spanish you know he, yes yeah. the the grandma had him watching yeah. novellas which yeah. is of course that's, you so know, that's how you learn Spanish yeah. and then that fucking kid's he's good so good yeah see that he's got a mom momager. Like, yeah. that's all I want. I just want one person to bounce off of. Like, I've had great managers and then it didn't fit ultimately, but like, yeah. that's what I'm looking for. Like, a right. partner in this. Like, yeah. I feel lonely. I think, I, I think there's shows to be, I mean, I mean, it's good for sitcoms because it makes them want three more. They want a two hour block. 
of comedies on Friday that you can just watch Friday. Like, yeah, I, but we, George, it's hard to not have a name and pitch it. I know. To even, you know, what I mean, I, mean? I grew, for grew them up to watching it. your show on those Friday yeah. nights. Right. You know, crazy. But also, but also, if you can, like, they're committed to finding three other companion shows, and they want that block. Hey, if you cousin. if you if you end up in the block, you could fucking be there for seven years. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, I'm like more than two weeks. <laughs> I'm I already. Know, I'm in the monthly still. Yeah. But also, it feels yeah. good to to be able to know that you're going to go back and work till May. Yeah, or the that's end of really April. exciting. Uh, yeah, yeah, to have like a block of time that you're not. De- it's like I, I've tried this hard to do stand up for this long, and now I just want a job where I can't do stand up. I think we should talk about doing a show. I'm serious yeah. because I didn't do that the first time because I was just learning myself, and mm-hmm. I was sick at that time. But this time, you know, everybody knows me. I don't have to reintroduce. I don't have to introduce myself to anybody. They already know me. Yeah. And I think it's easier if you have to put it out there now and also to gather ideas and then go in there and pitch it to them because you see them every day. I see yeah. I see people from the network every day. And if it's I a block, it. it can be like another a compen- version. A version of it, yes. Yeah. And like, what the heck was, Lo- I'm forgetting, but what was like Whitney Cummings' show that only had oh, two seasons? Um, Whitney. It's called Whitney. No, it was uh, oh. Two Girls. Broke. Oh, Two Broke Girls. Two oh, Broke yeah. Girls. No, I was no, on that it show. Did, it did, it did, yeah, it did. Years. It did. It, did, it's oh, it, did. It, it went. It became internationally syndicated before the first season was done, which is the first show in its history to do it. Fuck. Let's do that, but for Latinas. Yeah, and that's my first show I was ever on. <laughs> yeah, Two oh, Broke really? Girls. Mm-hmm. Okay, my sorry, I said that it was did only you two for seasons. It? I did. Yeah. <laughs> It was my first like multicam. Julie Ashton, casting director. Yeah. And I had like an. I was an Italian. I played like an Italian girl, That's so with an funny. accent and stuff. And I got fake nails for it, and then I couldn't take them off for two months. I was like, whoa. I feel <laughs> like really you've committed. been like doing this for so long. That's you're, what like, I'm younger saying. Younger than me. Yeah. No. But no. you have ideas though. Both of you guys have ideas. You're oh smart. yeah. I, the Virginia thing. I've tried to pitch, and I have a documentary too that I've been trying to sell for three years. It's beautiful. Can you guys? Can we all meet and prepare? Oh yeah, like, can yes. we? I would love that. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, it's just it's, it's just as much as like going over and saying, "Hey, man, I got something you guys want want to look at." Oh, let us see it. Yeah. You register it, and then you give it to them, and then they see it. Yeah. We gotta like get together, and then no, we. It's, it's, the it's, it's not as hard when you're on the inside as when you're on the outside. It, it feels it's daunting all, on it's the all outside. Hard. Yeah. Like, fucking, you're on the outside. It's fucking impossible. I also feel like naive for even thinking it could be possible on the outside, because like I feel so far away from it that I'm like, no, is no. it dumb to me for me to think that it's possible? Like, am I? I, think no. it's, I listen, I mean, I've done it twice, and I think it's virtually impossible. I mean, I hate to say it, but. Everything has to fucking check right. I mean, if it was just me doing the show, I don't think I would. They would have bought it. But yeah. with Mayan and being my daughter, and then us. I mean, it's just. It's like the first it's show a was dynamic. my life. Yeah, yeah. It's a dynamic of we didn't talk. Yeah. And then now, you know, we're talking again. And then the show is about that. Yeah, and it's almost like a follow up to like, even though it's not at all a follow up to your last show. It yeah. like it is years later. People are comfortable with you. You have a built a in. You have a yeah. built in audience. Right. But I love that dynamic, though, because a lot of people don't get to see what it's like to be a first generation American. Right. That's right. That thing of like, hey, we're not like my parents, but our parents are still my parents and I still have to interact with them. And also the fact that like she like is like married to a white guy and like she still has a right to her culture. Right. And they're not married, but she's not married. They don't, they don't oh, think right, that. Right, right. I forgot. And, and, and even, even <laughs> I know. And even the mom is like, uh, "Mom, um, you, you're going away. You can't babysit. Well, maybe if you guys, you, you know, committed to each other, I could commit to being a babysitter, like that kind <laughs> That's of." That's hilarious. But she does yeah. that, not me. Yeah. I don't know what I do. <laughs> yeah, what do you do? I don't know. I don't you know. bring in the views. I, yeah, I said I wanted to look like I had no place to go but up. All fucking crazy ass hair, yeah. hair and a fucking big ass goatee, and same buttoned up fucking cholo fucking I button. I love that. You yeah. know, like even somebody said, I haven't really seen the show. I saw the, I saw some, some footage of it from far away. But his top button is buttoned, and the way he has a button, I go, I think that show's funny just because of the way that wow. it's always going to be buttoned up. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And That's oversized. the style. Yeah. That's the. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting what people relate. They want to see things that they can relate to. This they want the, to feel like is, they're included. I think the one thing that, like, the reason it's been so hard for Latinos to break in is because we are, like, diverse within. You know what I mean? Like, we have, and, in, like, when I watch, like, a lot of, like, Mindy Kaling shows with this primarily, like, Southeast Asians, like, mm-hmm. Indian folks, right. I relate to those shows still, even though I'm not Indian, I relate to them on an immigrant capacity. And I think what we've done wrong is not using like our latino immigrant culture to relate to other immigrants but what your show is, do- show is doing really well is that like it's relating to everyone well, not it's americanizing just the experience it's, like, the whole wide range yeah, yeah. I, I think that you know um fathers and daughters 
dads yeah. that don't get it. You know, we did a thing about anxiety, and then not speaking Spanish, and then the first, the the pilot was about um, wanting to stay with her, like, you know, through the pandemic, lost her business, and all that stuff. But then we do... It's just so relatable. It's yeah, so relatable. I think the time is right for it. But also, if that one hits, like Abbott Elementary, like, I don't know what's around it, you know, but it's when you... That's how you build those memorable blocks of TV that people just fucking put it on. Yeah. Like Friday at 8, no, nobody was watching Friday at 8. And now, this show got eyes on Friday at 8, but also when it's streaming, it, it gets three times... Like, we, I think we had like 1.7 million, and then in a month, 8 million people have seen the pilot. That's crazy. So it grows at the plus Because that's the thing, when a show seven. is yeah, so nobody good, watches online. I always, on TV anymore. Like, I feel like when, when a show is so good, you don't even want to wait until the day after it's streaming. You want to watch it the second it comes out. And then the holidays, like Thanksgiving, you know, people be watching it Thanksgiving or on Christmas, they'll yeah. watch the other one. And it is coming back full circle because, like, I mean, I was on Netflix the other day and I was like, oh, I don't know what to watch. There's so and much then they shit. have it's so overwhelming. They yeah. have that button that's like, let us suggest something, mix it up. And then I go because it feels like you're on TV changing the channels, right? They're trying to recreate that experience. So I'm like, we're just going back to cable. Right. Mine is just. Where, like, you put it on NBC it. and you're like, oh, but do you just ever just. It. Yeah. I get overwhelmed. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm just going to smoke weed and listen to the radio. <laughs> like, it's just too much. <laughs> like, I just can't. It's, but that's why TV is good is like, because like you turn on the TV and you're like, but it's rare that I'm going to turn on the TV and be like, what's on? Like, I'm going on to watch something. Do you but know also, what I mean? What, 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 attracts, what attracts you guys to a show? Like, White Lotus, like, I don't, I, I'd be interested to see what you think of it. I'll, I I'm love the beginning, it. the sound, the music. Yeah, the, so yeah, the music alone. Is it the same yeah, song from the first season? Yeah, yeah, it's so addicting. Um, I well, I also I thought the writer is just like, like an incredible guy, Mike. Uh, and it's, it's not overwhelmingly um, exciting. I think the no. it's well written. I, I love, like the I, I like, like the tension. dry humor. I like the tension. tension. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like the tension. But also, I knew that he, when he wrote it, they were like, "We need an idea to be shot somewhere where it's just one place," and that's right. how the idea came up. Pandemic. It was during the pandemic, and so there was like, we have this like. Hotel, or is it in a hotel, or right. is it in a whatever? There was nobody there, yeah. There was nobody there, so they did it in this resort, and that's how the whole thing. Even the came girl about. was saying, I told Jimmy that yeah. she was. It must have been amazing to film in Sicily, and she's like, "Well, it was in the off season, and there's fucking nobody there, yeah, and it's hot as fuck, and you have to look like you're not sweating, and and there's nobody in yeah. town. I work is work, so yeah, and, we're, and we're, it's all work. I think yeah, it's, it's all exhausting. Work. Nobody knows. Yeah, I did a short film the other day. I was like, oh, I forgot how much you sit around and like do small talk with like the sound guy. You know what I mean? Uh, that's I the know. thing that I feel like is so crazy about this industry is that you wait around and you work so hard for so long to finally get like a real job that pays you and then you're supposed to be grateful and like you are grateful but you're also like this is work like you're I'm getting tired. paid because I'm putting in the hours yeah I, I want to read uh, let's read the, let's read the description of the pilot of friends yeah because friends they didn't have a job yeah none of them worked no, they worked. They worked in like, like the co coffee shop, but they had know. this great apartment in New York, which oh, yeah, you could suspend belief. By the way, but. you know what's even better? You should read, you know, my acting teacher sent us the review, the very first reviews from friends. Oh. And one was like, Joey is a misogynist. Nobody's going to like these people. It's unrelatable. The girls are too hot. The apartment's too big. Well, it was, it was the all. I watched the, during the pandemic, yeah. and I was extremely bored. I, love I watched the documentary on Friends. Yeah, me too. I liked it. And it was like <laughs> apparently all in the casting, right? Yeah. Yeah. And what did. Look at us. What Look does it us. say? I know. It's all, well, it's about their, it's about their chemistry. It was just a magical. Wait, I'm going to look it up. Is that what it's about? Yeah. Uh, okay, Friends. Please. Yeah, the reviews are interesting. Ta what is it called? What is it called? Like when it's like the short description? Um, the pilot? No, it's like the. The, the log line? Log line. Log synopsis. Line. Yeah. Friends. Well, when I know the word in a group, you guys, that's not good. But let's see what it says. But you never know but if I mean, it's going to be I a mean, hit, right? Friends is a 90s comedy TV show based in Manhattan. Six friends who go through just about every life experience imaginable together. Love, marriage, divorce, children, heartbreak, fights, new jobs, and job losses. What the fuck? But that's, that's any, that's any that's show. That's literally the most... They just... Non-identifying. Oh, like great okay, yeah. great chemistry. The log right. line. Yeah. Six young people from New York City on their own, struggling to survive in the real world, find companionship, comfort, and support they get from each other to be the perfect antidote to the pressures of life. They'll be there for you. Yes. And the song. Yeah. yeah. And the fountain. <laughs> 
And the fountain. And the font. I mean, it all came and together. The font with different colors. And and I love all the like gossip about it, like how Rachel had that haircut everybody wanted, and then her hairstylist admitted that he was like he <laughs> severely a- addicted to drugs and f- was fucked up <laughs> when he cut it. <laughs> It he was, was like, I didn't know what was doing. Ch- yeah, it, it was all fucked up. I mean, everyone was like, I need that little mullet, you yeah. know? It's yeah, crazy. it's but you know what? There's it's timing. It's what's happening in the world. It's the exec there. It's it, there's so many multiple things that have to align for something to work. So like, I believe that how it incredible can happen. that it's happening right. for you again. I think it could. I think there could be companions in there because there's not a a young show per se uh, about young people primarily. Mm-hmm. Like you didn't see their parents; they had to fly into New York. Like they weren't just around. Yeah. One where the parents aren't around, and you're on your own. Yeah. You don't. You can't run home to your mom, and you can't do your fucking parent. Yeah. yeah. And weather. also, like, I mean, if Bad Bunny has shown us anything, is that there more is guys a should take fingers in their butt? Wait, what were you going to say? International audience. <laughs> yeah. He, he, is he pan or what? He, 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 no, he's bi. Bi. But he doesn't like talk. I about heard him. in the meet and greet you could fucking give him the devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's his favorite. Yeah, that's his favorite. I haven't gotten. I haven't gotten. Show those me kinds number one. Did you guys? Uh, did you guys see Money Train? No. 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 The Bad Pit. So Brad Bad. Pitt. So Bad Bunny's in the yeah. beginning of Money Train. I gotta watch it. Okay. And you know I'm in Blue Beetle. You know I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to brag. So but. James Gunn took over Blue Beetle. Uh, from came over from Marvel. Yeah. And he his first public comment was this because I, I said welcome to the bug ship captain oh that's Aww. so cool what he said and i've never I've, so we have mutual cool. friends go george wait, uh, wait till people see how good you are in this george i l- and he's been saying that because he just took over dc that's yeah. incredible once you become a dc person that's 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 next level when you and you know what i said i said in january there's the there's the Blue Beetle poster. Wow. I bang, oh. I bang the shit out of this on the table because it lights up when the kid touches it and when oh, I touch that's it, it cool. doesn't. I'm like, I'm like, hey, you broke it. Fucking good bang the shit out of it. Uh, but that, that, that shit's crazy. You know and what? It, it's so nostalgia, funny. too. I think that's another thing that people want to evoke. Because nostalgia is the ultimate thing, right? Like in Wednesday, when, what's her name? Christina Ricci comes back. Right. You feel this, I feel like almost emotional. And I think it's that feeling of when you were a child and you believed in this world. Is, right? she, playing and recreated... her, is she playing? No, she's playing a teacher in the oh. movie. And, and I think she's going to oh, have yeah. something to do with the story, like the major storyline later. But, but she plays a teacher, yeah. I, you know, I don't want to criticize Bad Bunny. Um, <laughs> okay, then stop. He'll come saying. after no, no, you, dude. But, but, but I think if you watch it, like, did you see it, Aaron? Well, that's why I, he's not a good actor. I, I, I don't say he's a nut, but he, he, but he's he, was, not an he actor. was being chased, but also as... And this is the crazy thing. Like, as charismatic and as in- incredible as he is on stage, the camera has to has to read something. Yeah. And it didn't read. It, it, it he he didn't he he couldn't get he through to the yeah to the other side where, I mean, he play, he didn't really even talk. He was chasing Brad Pitt, but you didn't feel nobody like, watches that like, with the sound on. That's right? like Harry Styles in that other movie. Oh, I want to see that. Hello, darling. Hello, like are oh, we okay? Mom, darling? Don't worry, darling. Don't worry, darling. Like everyone's like, oh, Harry Styles, and it's like, it's that same thing. Yeah, he can act, but it's not, it's not. The camera doesn't like love when, everybody. Uh, yeah. But, but it also, but love also, everybody. you have to internally be thinking, I'm chasing this motherfucker, and if I catch him, I'm gonna kill him. Emoting. Instead of I gotta run over there and not and not seeing it. Yeah. Because if you, if you have to think of it and not just be like, okay. Give me a couple seconds, but you have to internalize it. And I think he's just, you can't, he's, it's not connected. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. agree. As he didn't have to go to college for that. But the fact that he was in that movie is why I was like, I was like, I need to see him on this tour because I think he's now going to start focusing on acting. I don't think he's going to go on tour for like another three years. I wanted to see that show so bad. I was that so upset I missed crazy. it. Is it over? Crazy. It's done. Yeah. He's I don't think yeah, I just I mean, love the music. Also, you know what was really funny? I'm I saw it in LA, LA and obviously like LA is like one of his biggest audiences. Did the guy take like you or did you go by with another no, the friend? No, he just sent, sent me the tickets. Oh. So I went with friends, which is why I was like, that's so hot. Those tickets are like fucking three grand. They were $2,000 tickets. And I... I, and you didn't even blow him? No. Wow. If I give you $2,000, I'll tell you, I that's actually rude. Where you blow it and go, hey, who's vacuuming your house? No, I don't, don't bother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's rude. you got to paint the outside. Like, so I went to the show, and on the way in the Uber, the driver was like, oh, yeah, like, you know how, like, 
I mean, Latinos like run Los Angeles. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we run like everything. And they were like, yeah, people have been sneaking people into the SoFi Stadium Oh, I wish I did day. that. <laughs> For $200 a pop. Cause like everyone who works at SoFi Stadium is they're Latino. Latino. <laughs> so they just pretend like they're yeah. picking up shit. Yeah. Yeah. And so then- Only during, a Latino show. You can yeah. go around Seeking with a fucking pledge in. and a yeah, rag yeah, and be yeah, polishing yeah, the seats literally. like that. Hey, no, I work yeah, it, bro. Yeah. And then during like a couple of Look the busy. songs, I remember the area I was in, it just got like a little more packed, you know? And they just like the bathroom attendees. These are like, yeah. That's pretty amazing, though. That's not, so it's, it's not easy to be that big. Tickets no. for a friend? Yeah. Uh, oh, but yeah. okay, so he works at an agency and he knew someone who worked at SoFi Stadium. Look, so he got them he's released. He's an investigative cop, okay? He, he got them released to me for $300, but they were $2,000 value. But you think there's people that. Like could just drive by your house and see you fingering yourself, and then they're, they're happy, they're satisfied. <laughs> what? Like, that's their fetish. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What like on the day of the show, like I'm gonna drive by at noon, and you're out there like rubbing your nipple, and the guy's like honks. All right, I'm good. Oh, for the tickets? Yeah. Oh, like if they're fetish oh, trade. To look at no, some, I think some guys' fetish Aaron? when they don't ask for anything in return is like the power <laughs> in their head, knowing that they like have. That. Oh, that's another thing. See, you know. But you know how we would do it? Like, you know, to just, you know, put your ass up against the thing. And then they're like, oh. They're like, here are the tickets. Let me drive right. by. You kick me on the dick. We're good to go. You can have <laughs> yeah. the tickets. Okay. But I think, you yeah. know, everybody's got a weird fucking thing. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have done it. This is the thing. I knew he didn't expect anything from me, which is like why I took the tickets. You can't testify to the operation to his mind. But yes, I can. Because then we got drinks and I was very flirty and he was like not into it. Hmm. What's He's like, flirty? not if Bad Bunny's not involved. My version of very flirty is like, hey, <laughs> she's touching his ear. <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> My version of very flirty is like, how are you doing? When I did her podcast, <laughs> I hit on her the whole time. I was just I like, I feel hey, uncomfortable when people see? like, yeah, and then she just was like, stop, stop, stop. But are you 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 swing too? That's uh, oh, swing. that's what we call it, swinging. Yeah. You swing. There you no, go. No, I'm not pan. pan. Sec is no. pan no, a no, wait, sorry, I'm not. What is it? <laughs> what am I? But when did you I? become pan? I think, you know what? I think it's lazy I'm not to be pan. poly. I'm not poly. I am lazy. I just want to totally make a decision. Lazy. I like it all. You can have it all. Yeah. I like it all. Like, hey, Here's the thing about me. I'm not like pan in that I like everything. I'm very, very picky. I just don't care what gender you are. Me too. I don't care about I'm gender very, or gender. I'm very, very picky. I just don't care about gender. I'll make it work. Gender yeah. or genital. Yeah. yeah. I could blow uh, your mind with the kind of porn I watch, you guys. This is the show, though. Yeah. Yeah. Gender or what was it? Gender or, or gen general. Or general. <laughs> genitals. Genitals. They'll never go for this. Gender meeting. or genitals. No, but there is an as interesting thing with a show that's gay that is, explores immigrancy and gayness because there's yes. not anything Wasn't in that Wasn't there one on HBO all. Looking that was a few years ago? Oh, I didn't see that. Wait, that sounds so Was that familiar. one, Aaron? No, but you know Looking? the show. Um, I think Aaron knows everything. Like Love yeah. Victor. Yeah. Aaron? You know the show Love Victor? I love that show. My I, I'm dad, obsessed. It's like I a little my, kid show. So I have another joke about. What the fuck is Love Victor? It's, it's a, a little kid. It's a. It's about a children's gay, show. It's children's it's show. About a gay Latino the, the, boy. He's in, in high school, school and he's gay. And, and his he parents has a are very family. Latino. His like, parents are not super Latino, it. Catholic, homophobic. At and first, at first, but then they he comes out to them and they like learn to love. They him. come around. I showed it. To, it's funny because I yeah. like my dad watched the show because I like was watching it at home and he watched it with me. And not to be like gay, but it was this situation where like my dad watched the show and he really did learn how to like have to say the right things because like last year this girl broke up with me and I was like really sad and I wasn't talking to my parents because I didn't want to talk to them about it because I knew that they were like a little homophobic. And my dad sent me this long text message that was like, hey, I just want to let you know, like, I love you no matter what. Like, you can talk to me about anything. And like, even though that sounds, I always call it with my therapist. I saw, I call it like a Disney Channel moment. I'm like, ah, that's so like but, yeah, but is it but true it or not? I don't think it's true. It Like that he would love me? I, no, I think that's true. <laughs> but I, I don't think it's true that he could, he could say you could talk to me about it because. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I didn't. It, I still didn't talk to him about it. But just the fact that he sent it. Yeah. It meant everything to me. You oh, my know? parents are like, it's a phase. I'm almost 40. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like, but I usually date men. Though? But I usually end up with men, so they think it's just like a fun thing for exactly. me. Exactly. And that's yeah. why, like, I have a joke that I was like, I told my parents I was bi. They didn't believe me until a girl broke my heart so badly that I wanted to kill myself. And they were like, oh, she is gay. <laughs> oh. Know? Should like, we go beat her up? You know, no, it's fine. Forget about her. She's yeah. non-existent. Do, do, do girls see it coming or not? Do, no, do girls I are more manipulative than men. That's the problem. 
Like dudes break up with a you know, guy break up with you. I, it's, I, all I don't know. it's all news to me. It's all news to I, me. I, I'm sitting there listening to you. But like, I I'm, see the value oh of it God. though. I see the value, the TV value of it because I do too. it I hasn't do too. it hasn't been on a network. I mean, listen, Abbott Elementary School is a successful show. It's about a fucking elementary school, yeah. which is great, and the teachers great in cast, their life, great writers, yeah. And, and then ours is about the Gen Z and the trauma and the and the, the divide and trying to get back because yeah. you know you, you really the thing from the father is how much time do I have left. And is this relationship worth saving? And it's yes, but of a lot of times, of course, it's yes. A lot of times, it's no. Really? A lot of times, they're like fucking. They're Dude, like, I, I don't. I, if my dad's listening to this podcast right now, I love you, but like, it is this thing where like every time I go home, why would he home, be listening to this? Because he, because oh. he's a fan. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so never mind. Hates, <laughs> Aaron, hates gay that. people. <laughs> no. Hates gay people. Loves George Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what yeah. Kind of but, <laughs> but it's this thing where like I love him, but it is so hard to go home for the holidays, dude. Because like See, I've been in therapy for he three years. But what about and him he hasn't, getting therapy? But that's why your show is so relatable. You know, I think it, I think it is. I think there's something to that because it'll, I I don't have that problem at all, and I know it'll shock your. Your chonies your right now. Off. Yeah. I have Shuck a forty-four-year-old son that's gay, and it doesn't bother me. That's beautiful. A- at all. When Latinos come out, they go, "I'm gay." They say, "Prove it." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Carlos, break me up a piece of that kitty cat. Yeah. My family's <laughs> been in therapy for two years now, and it's like changed our entire dynamic. My like, parents we have could like not we talk literally. They're like, "We love that you're going to therapy. We will never go to therapy." They will. That's what my dad used huh. to say. If That's it, the, something has to come to a head. Something has to come to a head. It, I was yeah. never no asked therapy, to go to therapy. Therapy. Yeah. Therapy. Like think about this. Can every eleven buy. years, every eleven <laughs> years, your bones regrow, right? So my dad technically is a different person than he used to be, right? Oh. The stuff that he did to me as a kid, like however I felt about that, I have to let him allow him to be a new person. That's too. the problem with me is that like uh. I haven't forgiven. And you might for never some though. things because they're not even like going to therapy, and my mom's like just like put it behind you and I'm like I can't because like you're not even trying you're not trying to work through but that. even in in therapy I I, I want this accountability it's never going to happen it is up to you to go like yeah let it, it is but also if you. they yeah. said okay I know I'm responsible it, it's it's not that easy either yeah like it's not just it's the it's doing the work I, I would I would say like you know you if they say you, you can't teach an old dog new tricks unless and sometimes they never do sometimes you know when when you know, you get to be my age and they say, oh, you know, my mother died and my father died. And they never told me they loved me, but they did love you, but they never told me. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, but they they did and they didn't know how to, but still, it's worse on the person that's left behind. You know, they didn't they have were, the tools. They were their way. They yeah, they weren't the yeah. tools. Yeah. That's the thing. We have these new tools now, right? To communicate like emotion and stuff. Like people don't have to And also to know that like your feelings are valid and you can like feel your feelings and then like move on from it. You yeah. know? I think no. that's why people leave the room on the holidays and then people are drinking and stuff. But when, you know, the older person leaves the room and they go, fuck it. Go, that's your, that's your daughter. Fuck, you know what? Fuck her. I don't fucking, all this bullshit. It's all my fault. Like, first of all, Maybe it is, but they feel like they're piling on. But really, it's fucking, it's the reality of it. And, and everyone they don't like also, to feel like they're getting blindsided. But And they have parents, too. That's right. And that's where it is. It comes down. It comes down. But the thing is, like, right, becoming an adult is realizing that your parents did their, try their best and they were growing, right. too. You know, like, my dad grew up, I grew up in Brazil. Like, we moved to America. They had nothing. My mom didn't speak, they didn't, we Dude, didn't speak English. The fact that my parents you know, know how to, like, yeah. file their taxes is, like, wow. Yeah. Oh, shit. You know it's what like I mean? That? Oh, my, my <laughs> No, no, alone. they're smart. But I'm saying, and like, I'm just starting a business now. And I'm like, holy shit, I have to, like, d- file all these taxes. And I literally have, like, a college degree from America. See, and, my and I speak fluent type English. A, and hers doesn't know what to do. There you go. I'm super tight. So you go to her yeah. house and you knock and you hear a chicken. Yeah. Because you know, I've been doing my around. taxes since I was like 10. Yeah. I, yeah. Just because I wanted to for fun. Yeah, I'm type B for sure. Yeah, I'm type A. Yeah. But pretty much I'm just saying is like how hard is it to be like an immigrant parent? It's fucking it's so, so hard. hard. What and was then, the odd couple yeah. about? Two dudes that... You know what the odd couple? You're, you're, the odd couple. Ago, I, the I, odd couple. Yeah. One guy was very fastidious, like well dressed, mm-hmm. very clean, and the other guy was a, a sports writer, cigar and typewriter. You know, kind of a slouchy. And the a other slouchy. guy gets thrown out, and he goes to his house, and his wife threw him out. And he says, "Can I stay here?" And that's fucking the odd oh, couple. That started. Yeah, yeah. It's like that other one where like the the husband of the two women are gay. Oh, um, the uh, with Lily Collin, her, yeah. that one, yeah, yeah. Lily What's Collin, and oh my god, huge show, Lily the Collin. Show? Yeah, it's yeah. about their their Emily t- in Paris. <laughs> I love that show. 
Grace, Grace Frankie and, and Grace. Frank, Frankie and Grace. Lily Tomlin's the, per, oh, yeah, yeah. the person I worship yeah. the most in the world. Yeah, we just need like a little, we have the premise. We have the premise. Let's, you just let's got, do you it. You just got I'm started on your show. So we're no, I said let's do it. I mean, I have nothing. We got to be a character first. We got to be a character on TV first. No, I know, but yeah, that. and then we'll show you our little like pitch deck. But let's start to prepare it though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm game. Get the deck together because got, because we got picked up. I got. A, I don't know if you heard. I have a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, we we did this. We put this thing together from February to the pilot we shot in April. Okay, and but then, how about this? And then. We and, and we went and did the road over the summer, so it, it's But did possible. you pitch it yeah. already with a pilot written, or did no. you pitch it with a log line? With a log line. Wow, oh, wow, wow. And it. then they paid for you That's, to pit, write the pilot. Yeah. That's wow. what I've heard is like what's happening now. Like, yeah, but unless you're not a name and then they want to see the pilot. But also, you'd be in there. Like, I'm bringing some. I, yeah, I, right. I want to produce. You're the name. Like, I want to produce while you're there. I yeah. didn't do that the yeah. first time. Oh, George, well, we're going to be auditioning people to okay, produce. Okay, good. So. I, I, didn't, I didn't do that. <laughs> You know when you're no, in. No, we're not. <laughs> you're in. No, that's it. No, that's it though. That you. That's you guys. No, I'm yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. Obviously. No. <gasps> Guess what show you're wearing on the pilot? <laughs> this shirt, that one. Really? You're okay. gonna let her wear a logo? And those thick ass corduroy high up. <laughs> that, that's those your shit hot. right there. I really no belt. Have to pee. Yeah. That's it. Go ahead. All right, thanks you guys. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, ladies. Are we Aww. done? You done with well, us? Hour and a half, hour yeah, and it's been minutes. like two hours. <sighs> How right. fast did that go? That flew by. Gil hated it. He said, "That's like the show. We're gonna see you on what all NBC." The problem is in life. life well, actually, is I'm gonna text you. It's not a bother. Life is no, easy. No, no. Life's yeah. easy. But that's what you're wearing. Those corduroy pants. That's yeah. That. I like those pants. I have been wearing these. They're like that's, my adult version of sweatpants. I love them. They're so that's what you. That's what you're gonna wear. We better fucking get used to it. Mine that's are high waisted too, though. Look I'm how happy with no belt. They're yeah. Both high, super high. Or should waist? I be wearing a belt? Yeah, like that. No. Okay. This. This is it. I think that's it, right? Yeah. I, would I, never I leave totally. The house a belt I on. totally think that that's it. Yeah. We're manifesting right manifesting. now. Manifesting. And you guys are from someplace else. Yeah. That's real for sure. It's so real. What do we yeah. say? I think we said it. In, you have to set it in Virginia. It doesn't matter where it is. It just matters. No, the but Virginia also opens it up to so many characters in Virginia too. Right. Like, because there right. are the allies of the immigrants, right? The friends that we made. Like along yeah. the way, and then there's the people who are like, "What? Is, uh, well, I expected you to swing from vine to vine," and we're like, "Well, we expected you to have more teeth." Virginia, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's specific. Like, I always say Virginia is like at least Northern Virginia where yeah, I'm from. That's nicer super, than where I'm from. It's like diverse, but every minority is whitewashed. It's true. It's right. like every minority. This guy is from Ethiopia, and he's like, "Hello, yeah." yeah. Like they wear like Patagonia vests. Everybody wears Patagonia. Everybody horseback rides in Charlottesville. You know Charlottesville. Yeah. It's like a very. But also specific. they did gay marriage too. What? What do you mean? They, like they? Oh, Virginia. they were legalized. Yeah, yeah. marriage. Oh, this stuff is going on right now with gay marriage. It's crazy. This woman is fighting that she doesn't want to do websites that it like for gay people. Oh. And they're they're trying to rule it. But that it's mm -hmm. a creative pilot. Field. Yeah. Yeah. Pilot. Are you free tomorrow. Oh. Pilot. Yeah. Around. yeah. Pilot. No, we're gonna get it she together. She doesn't want to do a website for two gay people that are getting married. <gasps> and that's Hot how twist. Not you guys. We're, we're in getting a married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no, 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 not no, you no. guys. Oh, yeah. oh okay, okay. You don't even know them. That. You don't even know them, but you're over here. So then, but then, are we mad about it and we fight about it? No, you want to. How do you feel about it? I thought our dynamic would be that we were a couple, but you don't think that. Huh? No, I don't think so. You think we're just friends? Yeah. I think I think it's how you guys are right now. You have a boyfriend, but you're pan. Yeah, and but I'm then how single. Do, but then how do we? Single. What's our? What's our? See, my tr my trouble is always like, what do they do if they're? Because my people she are always like, they can't shop. be comics. We work in a flower shop. Yeah, I have a lot of flower shop premises because my parents. Yeah, yeah. or you work where they buy, where your parents bought, where they where they got the flowers. Yeah, and yeah. then you deal with the different people coming. Well, because also funerals, the flower things. thing is like a lot of florists have in like Texas have been denying selling flowers to right gay to gay people. They, yeah, pilot. Yeah. Mm. All right. And then maybe there's flashbacks to when we first moved there yes. and we were really immigranty. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I have all that yeah. stuff with my ESL teacher being Russian. Yes. And all this stuff. That's right. That, all the memories of like somebody smelling me when I first walked into school. <laughs> That's crazy. Pilot. And then they're like, yeah, mm, meaty, you know? It opens It opens with somebody smelling you. Yeah, like little kid little walking girls. in all nervous, POV of yes. us coming in. Yeah. yeah. All the kids staring at us. I love that. Because it's good you. for our trauma. Too. Yeah, this I girl, totally. Brandy Watson, I remember her name. She was wearing a peach off the shoulder dress. You fucking smelled her. And she went like this. My thing was like, at literal eight years her. old, I learned to tell like white Americans, like when they were like, oh, you're Colombian? Like, are your parents drug lords? I would literally, my go-to line was just like, 
I mean, Colombia might make the cocaine, but your people consume it. <laughs> I was eight. <laughs> you're you already there, defending yourself. There you are. There you yeah. Are. There you are. Yeah. All the traumas yeah. and stuff comes There back. you are. Yeah. What defines it? Somebody smelling you and somebody saying that. And now you build from the, from that. Yeah. What what was the definition of your childhood? That's one. They smell you and that one. Yeah. And then we pop in and try and uh, convince Mayan to. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. But, but, by the way, but, well, that, but that one, though. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah I right. wrote it down. Let's, let's wrap it up.